Part of something more your elemental element. Green light, okay. Wait, how loud is the volume? Okay, that's weird. I need to fix the thing apparently. Uh, input, output, audio. So why are you here? It is a you fear. Oh. Is that it? Okay, I think that should fix the issue. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now I got desktop audio. Okay. That's fixed. Hello, Super Spike. Oh, yeah. Uh, hello, Wolf Girl. We're just gonna listen to some tracks because I just barely got done recording this. So, I wanna have her relax for a minute. If Audacity plays nice. Hello, Dawn. Okay, is there anything else that I need at the moment? I don't think so. And yes, the thing is gone. It's gone. I uh, got rid of it because it's taking up too much room in my room. Like, I... With that thing in here, I had a very small bedroom, so we decided to just get rid of it. It doesn't seem to make a difference, honestly. I'm learning how to play the song, by the way. Uh, there's just a few little things in it that are a little tricky. Like the main chord progression to get to the... Is that in... Yeah, it's in the chorus too. Like that thing in the background, that's easy. Ugh. I'm doing okay. Having some issues with my phone, but we're gonna hopefully get that fixed pretty soon. Got some food. I know, Pop-Tarts really isn't food, but it is food. Whatever. I'm guessing this is where we're starting. In a forest twisted by... Oh, nope. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. A mare with fur. No. A mare... Okay, I need to zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. So we're just gonna do uh, the cleanup stuff. I offer free samples. To a mare. The outside. Right there, but on the inside, I'm stressing about my new business. Maybe hey, if Audacity will play nice. Say that with QuickBooks, you can send your first invoice uh, in three easy steps. Let's see, get that out of there. Business, no problem. Success starts with Intuit QuickBooks. Uh, four, five, six. There it is. Hello. Discover card. This is gonna. To this is gonna be pretty match. tricky, actually. We match all of the cash back you a mare with fur. Okay, that's fine. We got it. It's that simple. Discover. <sighs> Pop tarts may not be food. More more .com may not be a food food, apply. but they are tasty. Some of them. Like, okay, this one's flavored apple fritter. It does not taste like apple fritter at all. I've had a lot of apple fritters in my time. Uh, this one tastes more like the cherry or strawberry ones. Uh, then there's another one that's out right now, the Boston Cream Donut or whatever it's called. That one tastes just like the s'mores one. I swear what they're doing there is they're doing like the small, medium, large thing at like restaurants. How it goes if you don't know the thing. Well, actually you probably can't even hear me. Uh, okay, which track is it? That should be low enough. I need to turn it down as well. There we go. Now I don't feel like I'm shouting. But 
if you couldn't hear me before, these ones taste more like the cherry or strawberry kind. Then there's the ones, the Boston, oops, Boston cream ones, which actually taste a lot like the s'mores ones. I swear it's the small, medium, large trick that re restaurants do, fast food restaurants. If you don't know, if you don't know this, basically if you take a small cup and a medium cup and a large cup, if you pour it into each, you will get the same amount that you would get in any of them. It is a true story. So, basically, if you go to a restaurant and buy a small, you're getting a large. Same thing with fries. Unless it's like one of those baby ones, then it's obvious you're not getting what you need. Duh. But I did not know about this until my mom told me because she used to work at McDonald's. So she knows quite a few disturbing things. Anyways, uh, what do I need to do here? In the forest twisted... Okay. This is kind of a different story all as well. Oh, fuck yourself. Okay, where did the base trap come in? In a forest twisted by age and by time. Okay, I need to get rid of that. Shadows were one. Shadows were once she stood. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these beginning parts. Probably put a lot of reverb on them and maybe, I don't know, add like some undertones to them or something. I don't know. Shadows were one. Go what they've done. A to mocking me. laugh echoes behind. Shadows where once she stood. Them all. Should I forgive them all? I appreciate that. Because the narration thing happened like just a shot in the dark. I wasn't ever planning on being a narrator in my entire lifetime, honestly. I just found out I was good at And the, the signs were always there because I was always a good reader. Uh, I had voice acted in certain stuff before, like, you know, kid level shit, not like, you know, high quality crap. But I have been on the radio, I've been on television, and now I'm on the internet. So I've been basically on every form of, like, listening that you can imagine. And the thing that I was in when I was in, like, I want to say that was like 5th or 6th grade. It was either 5th or 6th grade. One of the two. Because I was out of elementary... No, I was out of elementary school because of Miss Anderson leaving. So I was probably... I don't know. I don't remember. But basically, it was a spoof of Cinderella called Where Is My Umbrella? Or Has Anybody Seen My Umbrella? I played the dumbass prince. So, yeah. That's a thing in my lifetime. A mocking laugh. Alright, let's see here. A mare with fur as white as snow, and a mane as red as blood. A smile soft and sweet as a rose, and the scent of sandalwood. A mocking laugh echoes behind, shadows where once she stood. <sighs> a mocking laugh echoes behind. Shadows where once she stood. Okay. In the forest, tw there has to be a pause there. Probably will be a bigger pause when I get to like making music and all that stuff. You played a prince. I'm sorry, that's kind of adorable. Um, I don't remember my performance exactly, but I know it was bland as shit because I didn't know what the fuck. I didn't know what the hell acting was. But I remember. The prince is basically a dumbass who decides to drop out of school because I'm royal and I'm rich and all that shit. I don't need anything like pronunciation and mouth and all that shit. I just need to be a royal prince that's stubborn as fuck. You know, I remember that very, very clearly. Uh, because Umbrella, because has anybody seen my Umbrella? That's supposed to be Cinderella. He completely gets the pronunciation incorrect. Uh, but that was basically the whole thing. He's he basically Cinderella story. She drops her little sh her little shoe, her glass slipper, and he's wondering, hey, has anybody seen this girl named Umbrella? <laughs> so it's fucking funny. 
but I do not remember my performance at all. I just remember going to the radio station and seeing all sorts of crap on the walls. I remember the mics very specifically. They were huge. But keep in mind, this is back in like 2000 something, like 2007 or something like that. I don't know. It was a lot of fun. Who needs pronunciation and math? Everybody. In a forest twisted by age and by time, a small cottage stood alone against the endless creeping tide of nature. The branches lengthened, the leaves bloomed and fell, and spring and autumn came and went like hands ticking around on a clock. Wow, there really is no difference. This is a really good mic. The forest changed and grew as forests. Yeah, this was as forests won't do, don't want to do. As forests don't want to do. This was a weirdly phrased sentence, so I had to kind of get it back to what it was supposed to be. The forest changed and grew as forests. The forest changed and grew as forests don't want to do. But the little cottage stayed the same. Okay. A shingled roof top, a shingled roof topping a stone-faced little house. Squat. In that back. A shingled roof topping a stone-faced little house. Squat as a friendly old frog. Moss crept up its walls, and in the summer flowers bloomed in the window boxes. And in the summer flowers bloomed in the window. Oh yeah, I did that. I did two takes of that. Uh, let's see here. Crept up its walls, and in the summer, flowers bloomed in the window boxes. Yeah, I kind of slurred that line. I need to, I need to fix that. Back. Moss crept up its walls, and in the summer, flowers bloomed in the window boxes. Okay. In the winter, the windows glowed with the gentle flickering of flames. The old mare who dwelt in that cottage had lived there for as long as any pony from the nearby village. Village? Village? The old mare who dwelt in that cottage had lived there for as long as any pony. The old mare who dwelt in that cottage had lived there for as long as any pony from the nearby village. Whatever. Of flames. The old mare who dwelt in that cottage had lived there for as long as any pony from the nearby village cared to remember. Okay. She was a striking old woman. Any zebra living in Ponyland was... Wait, any... Yeah, this, this is a Zakora story. So this is the first time I actually had to voice Z as Zakora. <laughs> oh, boy. I only have math, lol. Oh, no, everybody. Oh, no. Math makes my head hurt. <clears throat> well, it's because you gotta think. <clears throat> I mean, all I need is simple math. I don't need... Algebra 2 and 3 and 5, 6,000. I just need addition, subtraction, division, uh, and multiplication. Did I say multiplication? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. That's all I need in my life. Unless you're a rocket scientist, you do not need algebra. Algebra is pointless, in my opinion. She was a striking old woman. An easy bro living in the Ponylands was bound to turn their heads. But her mohawked mane and golden jewelry, and, and golden, golden jewelry, jewelry, and golden jewelry were. Is I don't know why I stumbled on that word. Mohawked mane and golden jewelry were. Hang on. Mohawked mane and golden jewelry were especially striking. Eh, that's fine. The villagers were used to her, and they were as fond of her as distant neighbors distracted by their own cares should be. Okay. For as long as living memory lasted, for as long as living memory lasted, old Sakura had healed their bro. Old Sakura. Give me that back. For as long as living memory lasted, old Sakura had healed their bro. Old Sakura had. That back. Old Sakura had healed their broken bones and offered potions to ease their foals' coughing fit. Fits. And offered potions to ease their full. And offered potions to ease their foals' coughing fit. Fits. And off. Fits. Sparrow. Fits. Not bits. That's currency. Had healed their broken bones, and offered potions to ease their foals' coughing fits. Okay. Is that P a little sharp? 
and offered potion and offered potions to nah, that's fine. Foles coughing fits. Okay, where am I? Down we go. Okay. Where am I? No. Every pony was used to Zakora. What no pony was used to. He's an evil enchantress that does evil dances. <laughs> Sorry. Coughing fits. Okay, I need to bring that back more. No. Ease their foals coughing fits. No. Every pony was used to Zakora. What no pony was used to were her daughters. Okay. Got my best grade in math because of algebra. Eh, not my thing. I just copy and paste the dancers. <laughs> yeah. Sparrow was a little bit not on the side of learning algebra. When the hell am I going to come in? At, when the hell am I going to need to flipping? Uh, what am I doing? Uh, really? Can I? Not rocket, flower. Uh, WIP. That might take a minute. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. But when the hell in my lifetime am I ever going to have the purpose of needing to turn a freaking number or a letter into a number? Where the hell am I going to use that? Nowhere. So it's pointless to me. I think it should be considered an elective and not a requirement. That's just my thoughts. I'm hungry. I've done my work. I need to... Well, I'm still working, but... I've done my shit, so I deserve a reward. Even though they don't taste like apple fritters at all. They taste like cherry or strawberry. Oh, hey kind of molted together. Come on, bitch. Thank you. Okay. Anyways. I'm lucky that I actually found this little treasure because, or jewel, whatever, gem, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is actually a really good story. It's definitely different. That's why, that's why I like the most about it. It's different, as you've heard so far. First of all, there's not very many stories that are written about Sakura at all. <clears throat> it's like when I was voiced when I did the voicing for her I uh, I found myself going British for some reason <laughs> I'm like this is like Sakura's accent but it's British at the same time it's okay it happens okay today Please. All right, here we go. Hello, Keith underscore Milanicio. I have no idea. Ease their foals coughing fits. No, every pony was used to Zakora. What no pony was used to were her daughters. Okay. They were twins, and a, they were twins, and as alike as two fillies could be without. That back. They were twins, and as alike as two fillies could be without the and as alike as two fillies could be with and as alike as two fillies could be without the and as alike as two fillies could be without okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, bring that back. Really? They were twins, and as alike as two fillies could be without being identical. Okay. One had green eyes and a green mane, and the other had yellow eyes to match her yellow mane. Their names matched. Lily and Daisy. Wait a minute. Is that really what they look like?
I do not recall what they look like. I just know that what the main one looks like. Oh well. Lily and Daisy. And when their cutie marks came, even those matched. Okay. Three white flowers for each filly. With only with only slight different differentiation. Yeah. With only with only slight Okay, we're not back. First for each filly. With only slight differentiation in the petal shapes. Okay. The village was thrown into uproar the first time Zakora appeared at the market with her daughters. Zakora was far too old to have born children, and these were toddlers, not babies. Okay. And they were not even zebras. Who cares? The old shaman had turned up with two pony children, and no. How sharp is that P? It's turned up with two pony children. That's fine. And no pony knew what to make of it. That one might be a little but sharp. And no pony knew. And no pony knew. And no pony knew. Mm mm. Very breathy. And no pony knew what to make of it. But seasons passed. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but seasons passed, and the villagers grew more accustomed to. The Hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, blooper reel that I had. I I did not make the video. Uh, someone that is an editor for Lotus Moon made it. I just shared the video. I had the permission and everything. They honestly took a voice file that I didn't even think could be turned into a blooper reel and turned it into a blooper reel. I'm like, wow. <laughs> hey, kudos. I just don't have that kind of talent. What to make of it? But seasons passed, and the villagers grew more accustomed to the twins. Okay. If not quite comfortable with them. Okay, that needs to come back just a teensy bit. Shouldn't be worried about this right now. Grew more accustomed to the twins. If not quite comfortable with them. That's good. The forest changed and grew, and in the unchanging college, the fillies grew too. Wait, what, 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 what? Did I say college? Grew, and in the unchanging college, the fillies grew grew and Ow. in the unchanging college the fillies grew too i said call god damn it please tell me i retook that and in the unchanging cottage thank you <laughs> oops it happens guys it honestly happens a lot because your brain just kind of thinks ahead sometimes even though college never changes either <laughs> but honestly it does happen because your brain thinks ahead on things because well what well, came after that and in the unchanging cottage the fillies grew too no nope. but sometimes your brain just thinks ahead and it skips the logic of the word and yeah you say something else or sometimes if there's like two like this happened a lot in uh whatchamacallit uh savior sunset and twilight is said a lot so sometimes if there's like only two main characters you mess up and say the other character's name because you're so used to saying it. It happens. It's just, like even Lost had a blooper on that where she said, uh, Fluttershy said, flying with Fluttershy to the something, I don't know. But it was a Silent, Hill, Silent Ponyville one. Uh, hey, Mark. And grew, and in the unchanging cottage, the fillies grew too. Okay. They sprouted up like flowers, like saplings, unfurling their petals one at a time into the waiting sun. Okay. Both were beautiful. Both were kind. They healed the sick just as their mother did, and their laughter was like the chiming of bells. More than one village mother worried that she could lose her son to the wiles of... What the... What? More than one village mother worried... Yeah, this is kind of a weird sentence, but hey. As Law said, I'm just reading what the fuck is written. Fuck logic. More than one village mother worried that she would lose her son to the wilds of the forest. I better actually check that wild. Okay, yeah, this was correct. I'm just going to skip past all of this. But, yeah, Mark, I did find a place for the Twilight thing that you sent me. It's right up on the top shelf. I actually, well, my mom. My mom gave me the dusting shit and she said, clean your flipping shelf. So, I did. I had to do some rearranging a little bit, but I created a tiny little spot for it, and it's just sitting up there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, however, the... Actually, let me show chat this. <sighs> Oops. 
DLC. You like what I put in the box? In what box? I may have missed it. Uh oh, that might be bad. Are you talking about everything that was in the box, or was it in a sim some, or was it like placed in a certain box? But this is how cool of a friend Mark is. We've been friends for uh, about seven years now. So he not only got me this, the G5 soundtrack, that's already cool enough because this is not a cheap, this is not cheap by any means. It's probably about 10, 10 bucks right now. Uh, uh, probably 20 because it's newer. But also went to a con and the guitarist that is playing in the background, the artist in the background, he got me this. Uh, yeah, this wasn't cheap. <laughs> and he also got me a pin. I did not see this at all. Uh, it says it's loyal to the crown. Yeah, hell yeah, I am actually, you know, a huge loyal, to, I am hugely loyal to the on the box, what I wrote on the box. Oh, yeah, I, I I saw that, I saw that. I saw that. But this could not have been cheap. I'm guessing 15 bucks. The pin, I would imagine is probably not that much, maybe five bucks, something like that. That's a, that's a reasonable price. But he got me this at, at a con that he recently went to. I can't remember which one it was. This, was cool. He sent me the video of actually him getting it, and I was like, I almost cried. I almost burst into tears because the only people that have ever been this nice to me in my life are my parents. That is a true, true fact. Maybe my sister when she was like, you know, a good sister, you know. Jesus Christ. For the pin? 25 pounds. Ay, ay, ay. Jesus Christ. Twenty five pounds to dollars. Currency. <clears throat> For the pin? Holy shit! I was way off. 30 bucks. Holy fucking hell. Wow. See? Good friend. Very good friend. I've. What pains me is I want to get him something back, but I don't know what to get him. It's like my friend Thomas. I commissioned an art for him not too long ago. Uh, that was Christmas, I believe. Yeah, it was Christmas. So I am very thankful for Mark. I mean, he didn't have to do that. He just did it out of the goodness of his heart. And yeah, it's a little too hot right now to wear a, to wear a beanie. But when winter comes, I will definitely be wearing it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of one of those people. Like, if it's a gift from somebody, especially overseas, I will not, you know, use it. It's like the Twilight one in the box, the little pop figure. That one is not coming out of the box. It's sitting up there. It's not coming out of the box. I better actually check that. Okay, yeah, I was doing this. So let's zoom in a little bit. So I am very thankful for... Finding Mark as a friend. I, it wasn't long after I joined the fandom either. It was... I want to say... Uh, it was right as I jo joined uh, Brony Hub. Which... How long? I believe that was like... Uh, I want to say... Maybe a week? Because br joining the Brony fandom was kind of... Holy fucking shit. What is that? But... Joining the Brony fandom was, like, a slow process for me. Not clear up until, like, the season four finale or something like that. I don't remember the exact dates. I just remember when I left the group beforehand was, I want to say, sometime in, like, December of the previous year. 
I can't remember exactly, but I found I got into a Skype call with Mark. And most people that had been in Skype calls beforehand don't really show their face. So it really shocked me when he just like opened his face cam and showed me who he was. Like Mark is a very, very good friend. He's gotten me through some hard times, especially when that fuckhead was still around. But yeah, he didn't have to do this, but I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it more than you. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Twenty-six GBP. I don't know what that is. Uh, twenty-six. Oh, I need to put the dollar sign first. Dollar twenty-six. Oh wait. Twenty-six GB. Man, that is a lot. Son to the wilds of. Sorry if I just killed everybody's eardrums. <laughs> Great British pound. Ah, interesting. But I do appreciate it, man. I mean, I really do want to give back, but I can't give back like con shit because I've never been to a con. I just appreciate it. That's all I can say. And. Maybe if you manage to get to BabsCon next year, hopefully BabsCon doesn't just close their doors, and we can meet up in, you know, you know, the town. Uh, I hope we can do that. I really do want to meet you, and I want to just give you a freaking hug or a handshake. And the mags and the headphones. Yeah. Uh, I gave the headphones to my niece. She hasn't gotten them just yet, but I will give them to her. I I'm, wait I'm thinking about waiting for her birthday because her birthday is next month for the on the 22nd. Uh, I don't know. I'm someone who likes to just give things. Like, I don't like to wait. Trust me, it agonizes me to, like, wait for something to premiere, especially something that I wrote, like, Savior. Waiting for those to come out was, like, I just want to show you guys the cool shit. You know, it just, I was just like that. <laughs> but I gotta keep the suspense up. Anyways. Son to the wilds of the forest. Okay. But the two sisters seemed to hold themselves slightly above and away from the village. I better actually check. Make sure that's the next line. So I don't fuck up. Uh, where are we? They were twins, blah, 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 blah. Zebras, uh, more village, more, uh, some of the two sisters. Yeah, okay, it is, this, it is the next line. Okay, just making sure that's correct. Son to the wilds of the forest. But the two sisters seemed to hold themselves slightly above and away from the village, just as their mother did. What is and that? And eventually they came out, and eventually they came to be thought of and eventually did, and eventually they came out, and eventually they came to be thought of, uh, and eventually they came to be thought of just as Sakura was, ageless, separate. Okay, uh, bring this back. Bring that back. As their mother did, and eventually they came to be thought of just as Sakura was. Ageless, separate, the three healers of the forest. Okay, what the hell is those? I'm going out, Mama. Oh, God. It's the line. Um. I'm going out, Mama. Ow. Uh, is that I'm going out, Mama. Ow, that's... Very high in the heart of my ears. Maybe not that close. Let's go like this. Is there a cut here? I think there is. Okay, let's lower that quite a bit. Just negative three. Only one has say you do not need it. Did you open the Twilight box? No. I just, uh, 
kept that in its box, kind of fixed it a little bit, and just put it up on the shelf. Hello, uh, uh, Shines Audio Tapes again. Hey, it's a uh, minute. Okay. The Hillers of the Forest. Okay. Is there a cut here? I think there's a cut here. There is. Okay. So that pause there is actually pretty good. Not the time to follow through the store's page. Lily shrugged her cloak on, its red folds draping over her flanks to brush the floor. She glanced over her shoulder at her sister. Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? That's what she said. Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? That sounds more desperate. Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? That sounds fine. That sounds more sisterly. Are you sure you don't want to come, Daisy? Daisy glanced up, her eyes flickering to the... Her eyes, her eyes flickering to two other... What? To the two... Her eyes flickering to the two other cloaks. Nope. Her eyes flickering to the two oh, other cloaks. Oh, this line. I hated this one. Identical in cut. Hanging by... No. Her eyes flickering to the two other cloaks. Identical in cut. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Her eyes flickering to the two other cloaks. Identical. I need to fucking do this line. Yeah. Her eyes flickering to the two other cloaks, identical. That's right. Her <laughs> eyes flickering to the two other cloaks, identical in cut, hanging on the pegs by the door. That was a re freaking nightmare. Daisy glanced up. Her eyes flickering to the two other cloaks, identical in cut, hanging on the pegs by the door. Red for Lily, white for Daisy and black for their mother. No, I'll be fine. She demurred at last. What is demurred? That's an interesting word that I've never even heard of until now. Demur. Demur is a Demur. thing in magic. Pronunciation. I would imagine it's just the same as this. Pronunciation. Okay, I think we've stopped. <gasps> She demurred at last. Okay. I have a lot to do here, and dinner still needs to be cooked. Okay. Lily pouted. Oh, it'd be nicer if you came with, though. That fresh air would do you good. You're always holed up in here. That's fine. Okay, stop right there. Save real quick. Uh, I had that one for... I can tell. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, did customs freaking bang this thing up, or is the box just old? Then I looked at, you know, what what year it came from. I'm like, oh, this is old, old Twilight. This is wingless Twilight. Ugh. You're all... The, the CD's not coming out of its case, and yeah, the Twilight is not coming out of its case. Same thing with the with the things, uh, the, the mags. So I still need to find a drawer for them to sit safely in, but they are they are going to be taken care of. I still have that one magazine you gave me. I think it's in one of my drawers. Yeah, it's in the it's in my second or bottom drawer, but it's fine. It hasn't been touched. You're always holed up in here. Okay. Is it so wrong to prefer being at home? Okay, that's fine. Encountered Daisy. Things need looking after here, and with you out so often, and Mama hold up, <laughs> Mama hold up in her brewing room. That's a hard line. And Mama hold up in her brew, fucking dicks and docks. Dicks and docks. And Mama hold up in her brew room. Nothing would ever get done if I didn't do it. Okay, bring that back. Things need looking after here, and Mama hold up in her brew room. Nothing would ever. Wait, what? 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 Oh, I just I deleted something. And with you out so often, and Mama hold up, and Mama hold up. Oh shit, that's gonna be kind of tricky. And with you out so often, and Mama hold up, and Mama hold up in her, and Mom, and. Okay, I think I can do this. Let's see if I just cut it. What happens here? 
What's the fish do? I have a choice. Put that back. And with you out so often, and Mama holed up in her brew room, nothing would ever. I had to really slow myself down. Often, and Mama holed up in her brew room. You can tell it's clipped just a little bit. Often, and Mama holed up in her. Thanks, we closer still. Often and Mama holed up in her brew room. That's why nothing would ever get done if I didn't do it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, I guess not. Okay, put it back. Smash just as they drown. We are candles in the rain. Burning bread till we're washed out. So many nights <sighs> upon the I way. guess not. Seen a flash just Lily sighed and stooped to pick up her gathering basket with her teeth. A shadow fell across her, and she turned her head to see. And she turned her head to see Zakora standing at the top of the stairs. Beware! Beware! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. A shadow fell across her. And she turned her head to see Zakora standing at the top of the stairs. Lily pricked up her ears. Lily's ears pricked. Are you going to join Mama? Okay, hang on. Are you going to join Mama? That sounds more like Dash. Uh, okay, Zakora. I have another Zakora in forever. I haven't played Zakora forever. Last time I played Zakora was the. Uh, my story. What was it? Uh, an act of kindness. <laughs> Lily pricked up her ears. Are you going to join Mama? That's fine. Uh, okay, Zakora. <laughs> I haven't done Zakora in forever. No. No. Replied Zakora. You know, you know. No, daughter, I am too busy. <laughs> Fuck. Are you going to join Mama? Oh, it's quick. Okay, I need to bring that back a lot. Are you going to join Mama? That's fine. No, replied Zakora shortly. I wish only to remind you of what I said. Stray not from the path and watch where you tread. Heed my warning well. Hang on. Remind you of what I said. Stray not from the path and watch where you tread. That's fine. Heed my warning well. Little Lily. Wow, that's hard. Heed my mo Heed my warning well. Little Lily Red. Back. Whoa, whoa. Watch where you tread. Heed my warning well, little Lily Red. Okay, it's fine. Despite the solemn tone, Lily rolled her eyes. You don't need to use the prophecy voice on me, Ma. <laughs> and when will you. <laughs> the prophecy voice. Be work! <laughs> Oh god. I'm still trying to get, in, get my MLP stories into production on this account. I got Audacity, what other programs we use. Uh, if you want to just count the audio, the ones I use mainly are Audacity for editing, like, just things out. But for, like, all the effects and, like, the EQ and all that shit, I use FL Studio. But that's a little more advanced if you're newer. So you don't really need any. Let me just tell you this. You don't need anything fancy in order to get started. People don't really pay attention to that shit. But as a, if you get higher and a lot more, you know, what's the word? Like a bigger audience, yes, then that's when you upgrade. But at the beginning, you know, if people see, like, how do I explain this? People don't really care about quality. They just want to hear the story. So, it doesn't really have to be a professional setup. My setup originally was a freaking McDonald's headset looking thing. That's it. That and a voice that wasn't even my own and just mediocre skills in editing. But as long as you know how to edit shit out and use noise reduction, that's fine. Watch what you tread. Heed my warning well, little Lily Red. 
Despite the solemn tone, Lily rolled her eyes. You don't need to use the prophecy voice on me, Mama. And when will you... And when will you get over using those silly old nicknames? Sakura smiled. My parents still call me nicknames. Oh my god, it's high here. Yep, yeah, see? Yeah, basically what Mark said. You learn as you go along. Like, it takes years to get... To, it took years to get to where I am right now. But the place where I learned how to just do simple editing and not... Because here's the thing that I used to do. I used to put everything on different tracks. Oh my god, I was so stupid. So basically, there was over 20 tracks on Audacity easily. If you're making a song, that makes sense. But <laughs> for an audiobook kind of thing, that's bad. The highest you should have is maybe 10. Well, then again, there's uh, the thing that I... My biggest uh, production ever, which was Day Zero. Day Zero, oh my god. But not everything's like Day Zero. Day Zero is like an apocalyptic ending kind of story. So there's going to be a lot of sound effects. So, yeah. <laughs> you want to know where I learned how to basically do simple, simple and like save you a lot of time editing? Hang on a second. Let me get there. Your smiles and not your true desire to spread this land away in righteous fire. Okay, anyways. Uh, that would be under... What's the name of the fucking channel? The Lost Extras. Uh, editing stream. Okay, I gotta be a little bit more uh, specific. MLP. There we go. Okay, I just need to go to the thing. I'm ready to pause if it plays anything. Okay, we're fine. Uh, that would be on her playlists. I mean, she hasn't uploaded anything to this channel for flipping ever. But this is exactly where I learned everything that I know. Well, not everything, but as far as like editing and audacity and all that shit, this is it. This is where I learned. This is uh, all, this is all edited in audacity and everything. So, you know what you're doing. So, this basically, this essentially just shows you how to edit simply in Audacity. Like, for the longest time, I could not figure out how to use the noise reduction tool. It was horrible. <laughs> then, when I finally learned how to use it, I compressed the audio way, way, way too much. So it sounded terrible, but people really don't care about that. All they want to hear is the audio. That's it. Now, if you've got like a, uh, what's the word? Like a techie snob who will criticize you for that. There's not very many in this fam. Trust me. Up until you get to a higher number and you need to upgrade your shit, that's when people will criticize you for that crap. But if you're just starting out with like, and you know, have like only 10 subs, only a few videos, people aren't going to judge you too harshly. But there you go. Go to that video. That'll teach you how to, that'll teach you. And it will save you a lot of time. Trust me. When I was editing every single different voice file on every single track, we're talking Reborn, Bearsweet Apple Acres, uh, just a lot of the early shit. Just <laughs> save yourself time and a lot of, you know, what's the word? Stress.
because I absolutely can't believe that I used to do that. Oh my god. What's your opinion on Apple Jack? She's fine. She's fine. She's a horse. Or a pony. She's not my favorite character by any means, but I don't hate her. Anyways. What was I doing? Me mama. And when will you get over using those silly old nicknames? Zakora smiled and shrugged, descending the rest of the steps. Okay. Uh, Lily and Daisy are much harder to rhyme than Lily Red and Daisy White. She said. Okay, bring that back. Oh God, Mark just became a member of the channel. <laughs> this will help me in the long run. Yes, it will. Trust me. When I learned how to do that crap, I'm like, oh my god, I just spent probably five hours. Or I just say probably like five hours of endless work. Like, originally, the shit used to take, what, like eight hours plus to just, to just edit and mix together. Now, we're talking about maybe four hours if I'm not streaming, maybe two hours, but four hours easily... Uh, and doing like this kind of cleanup then for like it depends on the story really like day zero that thing took me forever <sighs> but that's because there's a lot to it but if it's a simple story that doesn't really have much to it it should only take you maybe about maybe two hours if you're doing it correctly other than that that's literally what helped me to just get <laughs> yeah to get to a point where I wasn't about ready to pull my hair out and overstressing myself. Okay. Oops. Lily and Daisy are much harder to rhyme than Lily Red and Daisy White. She said in a very different tone of voice than before. Okay. Uh, oh God, which one is which? Oh, Daisy. Yeah. I like the nicknames. Okay, I redid that. I like the nickname. I like the nicknames. Okay, bring that back. Like, I decided to just do Daisy in, like, a Fluttershy tone and Lily in, like, a, I don't know, more outgoing kind of voice. It's very popular. I want to make it into an audio story. That's cool. That's what I did with Bittersweet Apple Lakers. Like, how I started out, I did Bittersweet Apple Lakers. I did... I did my own stories before I did other people's stories. Uh, I did Reborn, Unmarked. Unmarked's really where the story, where the whole channel started to go whoosh. Because Unmarked was like one of those stories that you could get into and feel hooked. Lily and Daisy are much harder to rhyme than Lily Red and Daisy mm -hmm. White. She said in a very different tone of voice than before. Okay. I like the nicknames. Okay. Said Daisy loyally, pausing in the rolling of her sunflower dead bro. <laughs> pausing in the rolling of her sunflower seeds dough. Sunflower dead bro. <laughs> Daisy loyally, pausing in the rolling of her sunflower seeds dough. That's fine. And I am going out. Replied Lily. Okay, that's fine. Asphodel? Asphodel? Okay. That's a check. Uh, save. We've come so far, we've done it all. We took a stand and took a fall. Through our time, we've learned what's right, but now it's time to say goodbye. Start that over. This is like my background audio when I'm editing. Holy guaca. Jesus. Okay, anyways, back to this. Yeah, it's... Another thing I can recommend is take... Like, learn from others. That's basically what I did. I learned how to, how to edit from Lost. I learned how to do proper narration from Scribbler. Uh, but if you go to just like a simple, like if you just type in, you know, what's best to do as a, like a narrator, it'll teach you. Like, 
not soda pop or coffee like I used to do. This. This is what you drink during the recording. And if your vocal cords hurt after, tea or water. You can drink natural tea, not iced tea or like sweetened tea, just regular hot tea. That or water. Those are just your two options. If you're not a water drinker, well, you're going to become one pretty quickly if you want to do this. Trust me, I used to do it with coffee. Not a good idea. Coffee and Pepsi, not a good idea. That dries out your vocal cords and, lim and limits your, per your performance. Big time. Asphodel? Asphodel? Okay, so spelling check. I'm pretty sure I can see. Oh my god, what is that? <coughs> I'll get the... I'll get the asphodel you wanted, Mama, and be going, and be going. Fuck! Ow! <laughs> and be home before dark, and be home before dark. Daisy pointed a hoof at the larder. We were back in twenty thirteen. Can you keep it? In oh, I've stopped it. Remember you when you did. Replied Lily. I'll get the asphodel you wanted, Mama, and be going, and be going. Okay, stop. I don't want to get ranted by my own voice. There we go. Fidel, you wanted, Mama. And be home before dark. And be home before dark. I like that take better. Daisy pointed a hoof at the larder. Um. Can you keep an. Okay, you're in the back. Familiar faces one by one. Seems every bone is moving. Can you keep an. Can you keep an eye out for wild garlic? I just ran out. Okay, that's that's Daisy. And not Nurse Daisy, Mark. I know where you're going with that. Save so this story is my story that is really popular. Uh, I guess people like so much. I guess. Wait, what? What's your opinion on Fallout fanfics? I haven't read enough to really give them a fair judgment. The only one I've read actually is Day Zero because that one's uh, based off of. Uh, Ah, uh, shit. Uh, follow the question, yeah. It's not really something I've been into, but Day Zero was really good. Will you ever make the sa Savior sequel the next story of the Savior arc? I don't know. I would have to find something to carry it. People have been asking for a sequel, but I don't know if I've got the time at the moment. Because I've got, well, this to do. I've got Halloween coming up. I've got... A story to still write for Halloween. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, becoming a YouTuber is a big job, especially if you do specials. Okay, okay what am I doing here? L saluted. Saluted. Lily saluted. Okay, bring that back. Bring that back. Really? I just ran out. Lily saluted. Will do. Will do. Will do. Uh, As her yellow maid's daughter work. turned to... Will do. That's too joyous. Joyous. Uh, let's bring this back. <laughs> Lily saluted. Will do. Okay. As her yellow maned daughter turned to leave, Zakora stepped forward again. Be well. Remember what I said. Remember what remember, remember what, what I said. <laughs> she repeated. A touch of the same oh, shit. intonation as before entering. Remember what I said. Remember what Remember what I said. <laughs> but yeah, Savior it wouldn't be called Savior. It'd be called something else. I don't know what. Um I I do have ideas, but yeah, I just don't got the time right now. I am running out of time. I may have to just make it easy this Halloween because there is just nothing in my mind that's really working right now. That, or I'll just have to find a story and just stick with it. Sorry, guys, but it's getting hard to find anything good anymore. This was a gem in the... What do they call them? Diamond in the Rough. That I just happened to find in a group that I follow. Zakora stepped forward again. Remember what I said. She repeated, a touch of the same ominous intonation as before entering her voice. 
Do not stray from the path. Don't stray from the path. Another roll of the And again, if you're gonna do the voices yourself, here's a here's a big tip that I learned from another uh, audiobook narrator. Audiobook narrator, not in the MLP community. An actual audiobook narrator. Oops. If there's like an accent or something involved, don't be a f don't kill yourself trying to make it sound perfect because it's not going to happen if, unless you train your voice to do it. It doesn't have to sound 100% real. It just has to be convincing enough. Okay. Don't stray from the pup. Another roll of the eyes was all she got, and the door swung shut as Lily trotted away. Okay. Zakora went to the window and watched her daughter swallowed up. Nope. Zakora went to the window and watched as her daughter was swallowed up by the shadow of the trees. Yeah, it... There's a lot of long sentences in this one. The door swung shut as Lily trotted away. Zakora went to the window and watched as her daughter was swallowed up by the shadow of the trees. Okay. And there's a pause here, I believe. In the forest deep within, blood red. In the, in the forest deep within, blood red. Why can I not talk today? Blood red petal. In the forest. Blood red petal. Okay. And another thing you don't need to worry about. If you make mistakes, don't worry about it. Because everybody, even the professionals, make mistakes. You don't have to look down on yourself about that because it's common. It's just, we're only human. We can only do what, what we can. Excuse me. Who dares to wake me from? Shut the f*** up. <laughs> In the forest deep within, blood red petals open wide. Three stalks, three flowers, one with something left inside. It emerges. It is wrong. Blood is slick and green-eyed. Okay. This is like poetry going on here. And I think I know what I'm going to do for it. But you don't know until you actually get there. Safe. What do you think of those fanfics where Celestia is a god or think of as a god? She technically is a god. I mean, she's a ruler. A Basically a celestial body embodiment of a basically a sun. Uh, I mean, I haven't read very many of them. So I can't really judge. Like, in horror, there's not really many fics like that. The, <laughs> lately, the only thing I've been seeing is either like... What's the word? Uh like recreations of like cupcakes and all that crap which I do not read at all I do not like recreations of them <sighs> Lily followed the well-worn path that led from the cottage garden into the forest the clearing in which the cottage stood came to a gradual end first saplings first saplings and shrubs stop I remember I had trouble right here Understand. There's times breaking by with tears in my eyes. Can I feel all this sadness programmed? Into a gradual end. First saplings and shrubs rising from the smooth grass, then smaller trees, and then eventually there was green. And then eventually. Oh, this line. <laughs> and then eventually there was green. And then eventually there was green canopying that canopying and then eventually there was green canopying the entire sky over the <laughs> and then suddenly yeah I really struggled right here don't ask why but I did grass then smaller trees and then suddenly there was green canopying the entire sky overhead filtering the sunlight down in little golden chunks to dapple the ground and turn Lily's red cloak yellow. Okay. Before too long, the path forked. In one direction lay... Was that in the audio or is that on monitoring? Before too long, the path forked. Okay. In one direction lay the village, safe and comfortable in the same way that home was. That was the only path Daisy ever followed. 
when she strayed beyond the familiar confines of their clearing. Without a moment's hesitation, Lily took the other path. Okay. Down we go. Second path, second path. Bring that back. Another important uh, detail as well to like your setup that you are going to start with. Don't worry about having like a blue Yeti or like a snowball or even like what I've got. I've got an AT2020 XLR. I mean, having those is good, but honestly, if you start out with something like a potato microphone, people aren't going to care. Honestly, you'll find it's like what they say about voice acting. There's a voice, your like voice acting talent is always needed somewhere. There's always a place where your voice can be used. I mean, my quality is. It's important, but down the road. It's down the road when it's the most important. Other than that, it's not really a big factor. As long as it can project your voice decently enough, it's fine. Japan on how the snow right, what? On how the show right men, I hate how small Grimdark, what? I hate how small Grimdark is, but I do like how every Halloween we have. Okay. What about the fix of Celestia being Sunset Shimmer's Mom? I have never come across one like that. Uh, right, man. I don't really give a flying crap about that kind of stuff because I'm not there to look at the negative. I'm here to look at the positive. Unless the episode is so god awful that I have nothing but hate toward the episode. <clears throat> Non-complete clause. Hated that episode. Took the other path. The second path led deeper in... Oh, okay. So it is to the next part. I thought that was a cut. Not back. Took the other path. The second path led deeper into the forest where magical beasts lurked and Zakora gathered the strange plants she needed for her potions. Okay. The second path led to mystery and freedom, and those were the things that Lily craved more than anything else. Slowly, the trees inched closer. Slowly, the trees inched closer together, and the golden triangles of sunlight grew. Oh, man, I can't. I do not have a tongue today for some reason. <laughs> Slowly, the trees inched closer together, and the golden triangles of sunlight grew thin and distant. Stop. Another thing I also stress to people that read sto other people's stories, ask permission. It may be public and like not copyright or anything, but it's still respectable to ask the author. Just because, you know, it's just out of respect. It's a respectable gesture to say, hey, uh, your story's good. Can I read it, please? You know, you just got to be respectable to the authors. There's some people that do that, and I'm like... Like, there's some people that don't ask the author's permission. Like, I'm guilty of that, too. Like, I did at first because I didn't know what the f I was doing. But I just want to... But as soon as I got freaking ripped by an author for not asking permission, I basically said sorry, and I have learned from that mistake ever since. Because some authors want you to ask permission... Because it's like the like some fix can be their baby. It's like how Reborn, Unmarked, those are my babies. Even Bittersweet Apple Lakers can count in that. Those are my babies. So if I if I'm gonna w let anybody read it, it's gonna be someone who is going to make it good. You know, I don't want someone with amateur skills to butcher it. That's just me, though. That's my personal thoughts. Because if you're the author of it, it kind of... It just... Like, what's the word? You have to be a writer in order to know it. Like, if it's your writing and you know it's good, then you'd want it to go to the right hands. And that was one thing about a certain part of my... Uh, what's the word? Ascension that happened and I ugh. slowly the trees inched closer together and the golden triangles of sunlight grew thin and distant 
Huge primordial ferns unfurled their spiny leaves, hanging glow over the track and damping Lily's cloak with dew. The track got narrower and Lamping? narrower with, and twisted to and fro in such a way. Wait, that wait, it would wait, make wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. With and twisted to Oh okay, now that's a pretty that's a pretty easy mistake to fix. And narrower and twisted to and fro in such a way that it would make even the most seasoned explorer lose their bearings. Okay, I need to save. I don't care what you do. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen it come up yet. So where I normally look, if I can't find anything in the like horror section of the just the the browsing section, I will go straight to like a source that has a lot of good stories already like listed. And normally the thing that catches my attention is a very catchy title, like a simple title and a decent plot. Like a plot that catches my attention is originality. Like this, this is different. This one, I was like, wow, why doesn't this have more attention? Cause it's good. It's different. It like has different characters that you don't normally see or are even mentioned in like the s stories at all, especially horror. It plays on different things and the ending is actually pretty unexpected. I liked it a lot. Seasoned explorer lose their bearings. There was there was only the path and it went on forever. Leading both forward Whoa, and not back. that close. When there was only the path, and it went on forever, leading both forward and back. When Lily came to a break in the ferns that showed a strange avenue of dark, spiky trees that she had never seen before, she hardly hesitated. Okay. She stepped off the path and she stepped off the path and trotted eagerly into the unknown. Well, that's not good. My other fix is a real world and question. Yeah, I don't like those that much. Nothing against you, it's just not my cup of tea. Originality is definitely the place, but I don't like human and equestrian kind of crap. That stuff I don't really care for. Okay, there's a pause here. Okay, long pause here. Okay, so I guess we're little interlude. I guess we could just do this kind of thing. Okay, is this part of the dialogue? Why did you warn her about fucking fuck? <laughs> Why did you warn her about the paths, Mom? Why did you warn her about the paths? Why did you warn her about the paths, Mama? Oh, Daisy asked in a tone of idle curiosity as she knelt to stoke the oven fire. Nope. Daisy asked in a tone of idle curiosity as she knelt to stoke the oven fire. Okay. Whatever stoke means, I have no Daisy idea. Daisy asked in a tone of idle curiosity as she knelt to stoke the oven fire. Because I saw something in the cauldron last night, my love. Because I saw uh, uh, something in the cauldron last night, my love. That was fucking sloppy as fuck. <laughs> because, because I saw something in the cauldron last night, my love. That's actually a good take right there. That was sloppy as fuck. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of loops. Because I saw some. Because I saw something in the cauldron last night, my love. Sakura replied. That got Daisy's attention. She spun to face her mother, eyes wide. Okay. What did you see? How loud is that? Sakura only shook her head. I don't know. Nothing good. Okay. Why didn't you tell her not to go? Daisy hurried to the window and peered out, as though she could will her sister back back into the house. As though she could, as though she could will her sister back into. As though. Does that start right here? 
Daisy hurried to the window and peered out, as though she could will her sister back back into the house. As though she... Let's see if this does the trick. ...to the window and peered out, as though she could will her sister back into the house. To... That's fine. As though she could will her sister back... Oh, never mind. Apparently that's a bad take. See, like right here where this pause is, that with like where my mouse is going forward, that I had to take him in like, like I had to just take him in and stop and catch my breath and just catch my, not my breath, but my wording. Because sometimes that does happen and you're just blabbering your mouth off like crazy. Window and peered out as though she could will her sister back into the house just by looking. Why didn't you stop her? It's fine. It wouldn't have helped. That's fine. It wouldn't have helped. Answered Sakura with a shake of her head. Sakura's voice is really hard to do. I kept going kind of into Octavia. Like, it wouldn't have mattered. You know, that kind of crap. It wouldn't have helped. Answered Sakura with a shake of her head. Okay. Lily Red is the most willful pony I have ever known. Willful or wildful? That's right. That's right. We're just gonna put. We're just gonna go right on past that. Uh, I think this is where this starts. Yeah, that looks like gibberish. A creature stalks the maiden's step. Oh, hang on. What is this? Okay, it is correct. Daisy bit her lip. Okay. I know. But surely we should have tried. Okay. Where am I from? I have a feeling that Will I'm... fall or wow. Okay. Uh let's go like this. Push this fort just a tad. Boom. For pony I have ever known. Daisy bit her lip. Okay. I know. But surely we should have tried. Like, see how... Okay, I don't even remember what Daisy and what's her name sounded like. Uh, Lily. I do not remember what the hell they even sounded like. So what I did was like, okay, all I have to do here is just kind of give them different voices and boom. That's it. So I gave kind of Lily the more higher a beat voice while Daisy's more like a fluttershy like she's down like what's the word uh she's shy very shy whispery voiced so I just gave her that voice it doesn't match her voice from the show because I don't know how many times the the flourish ponies have actually spoken so I didn't go with the original voice I just like okay I'm just gonna do these different uh, what's the word? Like, these different kinds of voice tones just to give them an identity. Because my voice is one that doesn't really like to have a range. <laughs> Good evening, Sir Sparrow. Bows? <clears throat> Hello, Alan. Oh my god, that name. Pa... Palazuski? Palazuski? Okay. It's real world clay those fish. No, no, no. It's basically when I and another person get teleported into Equestria Girls World, blah, blah, where we meet the main seven, and my fiction self feels depressed. It gets a lot more romantic afterwards. Ah, it's like one of those stories. That's okay, I guess. It's not that bad. I mean, it. Uh, like again, again, not any offense towards you. It's just. I don't know. I prefer more simple stories, even though Unmarked says otherwise, because Unmarked is a freaking Paul Palazisky. Paul Palazisky? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the <laughs> the point of Unmarked was to make it interesting. Like, it had multiple different kinds of stories going on to the side, like who was behind the murder and all the things just going along. Why did Abba Bloom do what she did? You know, it was all that kind of stuff. So I had to make it come together for full circle somehow. I had to keep it interesting too. And basically the key was who, who like, why is Apple Bloom in this situation? 
that's the thing that kept them coming back. They're like, oh, okay, we want to know why the hell Apple Bloom's in this, like, facility. Hey, Spare, our new sub who found your channel recently just re just finished listening to Discord's doll last night. Um, your name looks familiar, and I did get a... Really? And I did get a, a long comment. Let me check that real quick. Yep, it is you. I'm glad you could actually make, you know, head or, heads or tails of that entire story because even at the end, I was a little confused. I didn't get it. Like, I thought maybe Discord was fucking with her or something like that. Or if, like, what was the other thing I assumed? I thought either Discord was, like, stuck in this loop of, like, Discord fucking with her. Uh, or what was the other assumption? I can't remember, but I appreciate you subbing to the channel. I'm working on one as we speak. Oh, pony, I have ever known. Okay, we've already made past this. Uh, is this the pause? Chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck. Really, we should have tried. Okay, there we go. Control C. Oh wait, I don't need to do that. I need to just do this. Control C. We're just gonna copy paste quite a bit. To give this a nice little opening. Okay. A creature stalks the maiden's steps, safe just out of sight. Death spreads in its wake, a black and dreadful blight. A smile plays on its lips. Will she put up a fight? Okay. Lily looked up at this strange new spe species, not spectacles. Spectacles. Lily looked up at the strange new species of tree. And uh, back. Lily looked up at the strange new species of tree. Jagged black branches, leaf. Jagged black branches, leafless even in the height of summer. Back. Jagged black branches, leafless even in the height of summer. Thorns as sharp as knives and have, and half as long as her foreleg jutted out in. Thorns as sharp as knives, and have... And okay, there is a pause. Thank God. And have... Okay. Spanish jits fall down, 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 down. Thorns as sharp as knives, and half as long as her foreleg jutted out in every direction. That's a... Yeah. She trotted to the near... Uh, bring that back just a little bit. every direction. She trotted to the nearest one and wrapped a hoof around it against it. And wrapped a hoof against it. Wrapped a hoof against it. How do you do that? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me here. She trotted to the nearest one and wrapped a hoof around it against it. And wrapped a... Okay, bring that back. ...to the nearest one and wrapped a hoof against it. That's fine. Okay, that's more of a sound effect. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in as a sign. It echoed hollowly, and it echoed hollowly, and Lily's. Okay, bring that back. It echoed hollowly, and Lily's ears flattened for a moment as the blows reverberated down beneath her, not feet. <laughs> not. And Lily's ears flattened for a moment as the blows reverber. It echoed hollowly. And Lily's ears flattened for a moment as the blows reverberated down beneath her not feet. <laughs> not not feet, Arthur. Hooves. And Lily's ears flattened. Okay, so it was and. Uh, I am working on a story about um. May, I don't know. Man, main mission to Saturn and then up, then, uh, then end up on Equestria. Hmm, in interesting. That sounds fun. Ouch. And Lily's ears flattened for a moment as the blows reverberated down beneath her hooves. Okay. Huh? Oh, that is a she line. She said after a moment speaking aloud just to fill the silence and dispel her words. Weird. How is that? She turned away from the tree. Weird. Weird. 
That's that's high enough. She turned away from the tree, and not without a backward glance at the path to reassure herself that it was still there, padded deeper into the shadows. Okay. Following this strange, <gasps> followish, following this strange tree-lined avenue. Following this strange tree-lined avenue. It was almost like a road, though it was nothing more than a stretch of dry earth devoid of all plant life and strangely blackened, like something had sucked all of the moisture out of it. Okay. What is this? She followed the trees. Oh, I must have scrolled down or something. Breathing, my heart still beating. She followed the trees, each as black and blasted as if it had been struck by lightning. And when she came to that back all of the moisture out of it she followed the trees each as black and blasted as if it had been struck by lightning okay and when she came to a dell within the trees she trotted eagerly out to see what was there okay and then lily found herself in a forest of gargantuan fowl and then Lily found herself in a forest of gargantuan flowers. The beck. And then Lily found her. Okay, let me save first. Lily, orphan child, orphan child. Did a reaction to Discord stop. Oh, man. Oh, I need to. Probably gonna end up getting a new chair here before too long. It's starting to leak shit on the floor. That's not good. And then. Lily found herself in a forest of gargantuan flowers, each, each one taller than the cottage, and each one utterly. Turn that back. Each one taller than the cottage, and each one utterly dead. Okay. One after another, all alike, they were arrayed in strange patterns, just too close together to be random, but none quite close enough to touch each other. The routes between them The routes between them were narrow and winding. The routes between them were narrow and winding, and the blackened decaying leaves of the flowers seemed to point inwards to the dell center. Walking slowly. Okay, bring that back just a tad. To the dell center. Walking slowly, walking slowly. Oh, okay. Lily, walking slowly. Lily, uh, stop. Okay, there we go. Blood. Walking slowly, Lily followed the winding avenue. Really? <laughs> I don't care about Garfield and Friends, not Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> walking slowly. Oh, God. Walking slowly, Lily followed the winding avenues inwards feeling more and more like she was wandering through a dream. Okay. She stared up at the moldering petals. Moldering? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's right. Moldering petals. Moldering? I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, but I'm going to be absolutely sure. Okay. Control C. Very important tip right here. Always checks words you're not sure about. Otherwise, you could end up having a... Or otherwise, you could end up having a situation like with like I did with Rarity's collection, or not Rarity's collection, uh, Rarity's what is it, uh, Loomis Rarity. She stared up at the moldering petals arching overhead, and when her hoof bumped against, and when her hoof bumped against something smooth and white, half buried in the soil, she did bring that back. And when her hoof bumped against something smooth and white, half buried in the soil. She didn't look down at the skull she had dislodged. Yikes. As she went further in, the flowers grew more ancient and more decrepit. Their stalks bent and withered. Really, Ruger? Oh, God. Do I have to get Dad to tell the dog off again? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the flowers more rich, aren't their stalks bent and, and when her, their stalks okay there we go their stalks bent and withered their petals crumbling but still all i but still 
all identical, all strange, vast road, but still all I, but still all identical, but still all I, but still. Let's see if that works. Those crumbling, but still all identical, all strange. Vast roses swollen beyond all recognition. Okay. Down we go. Back. Rainbow Factory and your... What? Rainbow Factory and your opinion on the Yandere trope. What do you mean? Like, what do I think of the whole Rainbow Factory thing? Because I've got a lot of words for that thick. To me, Rainbow Factory, just like Cupcakes and the other ones, were overrated, in my opinion. Because they're just shock factor. That's it. And all recognition. Not to mention Dash and that fic is come until completely finally the out of character. Until finally at the center of recognition. Until finally at the center of the clearing was something different. A cluster of three huge flowers, growing close enough that their leaves and exposed roots entwined. Okay. Just as, just as dead and dusty as the others, but two of those flowers were not. I'm back. Good. Just as dead and dusty as the others, but two of those flowers were not. But two of those flowers were not. <coughs> My dog decided to get a little happy. Just as dead and dusty as the others. But two of those flowers were not roses. They were long past the point of rot. Dried out husks of what they must have been. But Lily knew that those were not roses. Traces of white still clung to some of the fallen petals. Some round. And some pointed. Okay. A lily, a lily, a daisy, and a rose. A Get back. A lily, a daisy, and a rose. Amidst a forest of roses. Okay. Lily swallowed hard. This, this was all too strange. This, this was all too strange. Uh. In this graveyard of almost common I think this is it. This this was all too strange. It was creepy here. In this graveyard of almost comically overgrown flowers. On balance, she thought Mama had probably been right. Better to have stayed on the path. She began to back away, and just as she was turning to leave. Something happened. Okay. How? The soil heaved, and then vines erupted from it. Thorny stems with barbs as long as That's and gonna be a fun swords. freaking sound effect to make. Lily yelped as she was thrown to the ground, and as she scrambled back to her hooves, the vines began to flow toward her. The vines began to flow toward her. Oh Celestia! The vines began to flow toward her. Yep, I totally flunked that one. <sighs> Back to her hooves, the vines began to flow toward her. Oh, Celestia! Lily whimpered, and then she turned tail and ran. And behind her, finally, the thorns twisted into a shape. Okay, I think there's a pause here. Sister, sister, come at last. Come to find the one off cast. Come to feast the grand repast. The grand, the grand something. Repast. repast. Oh my god. There's words in this that I've never even heard of. Repast. Okay, there's I'm the. I'm tasty, you fucking stupid thing. Till you see daylight. Repast. I don't know which one it is. Repast. Okay. Gotta wait Till for that. Back Freaking until thing to go away. See daylight. 
gotta wait for it to go away. Or make sure our SD's still playing nice. Or we in? You see daylight. Eh, 20 minutes, that's not that bad. Uh. Come to feast. The Come to feast the grand repast. Okay. Fucking any second now. Alright. Come to feast. Come to feast. Uh, that's what she said. Alright, anyways. Come to find the one off cast. Come to feast the grand repast. Alright. Let's see where we're going here. Daisy. Daisy. The whisper was too soft to make her. Okay. The whisper was too soft to make her the The whisper was too soft to wake her the first time. Daisy was dream keeping that back. The whisper was too soft to wake her the first time. Daisy was dreaming of carrot cake and hayseed loaves. Of her sister's eager smile as she bit into a new culinary delight. Okay. Daisy. Daisy. That's gonna be fun. The green, the grass green head lifted blurrily from her pillow, and Daisy looked sleepily around herself. Go yeah. Uh, oops. Two. Did I not pause you? Thank you. I've got a big stomach, guys. I don't even know if my pop tarts. The grass green head lifted blurrily from her pillow. And Daisy looked sleepily around herself. Uh, Lily? Oh, I've got. Can Daisy. You tell me? Daisy. Daisy. It was louder now. Almost normal speaking vol. Almost normal speaking volume. My her block. sister. Back. Uh, it was louder now. Almost normal speaking vol almost normal speaking volume, but her sister was nowhere in sight. Okay. Get that back. We were not but her sister was way. nowhere in sight. Lily Where are you? Yeah, uh, yell. Daisy pushed the covers back and climbed to her home. Wait, back. Where are you? Daisy pushed the covers back and climbed to her hooves. Yeah, there's probably going to be a little less space there. Let's so pull it back. Where are you? Daisy pushed the covers back and climbed to her hooves. The cares of the day were be. The cares of the day before were coming back to her now, and her eyes grew round with okay, put that back. The cares of the day before were coming back to her now, and her eyes grew round with worry. Okay. Lily had not been back before dark, as she had promised. Ugh. Daisy had eaten a miserable dinner with Mama, neither of them able to work up much of an appetite without the family's third member. Okay. It wasn't like Lily to miss a meal. It wasn't like her to break their word. Uh, excuse me. And it certainly wasn't like her to whisper from hidden corners in darkened rooms. I'm outside, Daisy. Come outside. Uh, excuse me. The whispers seemed to come from every direction at once. That'll be a Daisy's ears scene. went flat to her skull. And there's a dog uh, come. Why can't you come here? Get that out of there. Turn the music up so loud. Flat to her skull. Uh, why can't you come here? Okay. I have something to... Sh I have to show you something. Okay. The whist... Promise me, it'll be a lot more... Er, pff, promise me. Uh, trust me, it'll be a lot more teleparty... When I'm done with it. 
Uh, let's see. Like how you feel about Yandere's and Jeff the Killer. Was that story literally... Litter... Everyone making fun of it. Jeff the Killer just makes no sense. It's also horribly written, rushed, and just... Angsty whore. I have to show you something. The whispers were growing louder now. Excited. You have to meet me. You have to meet me. Uh, meet you? Bring that back. You have to meet me. Uh, meet you? Uh, meet you? Yeah, that's meet more flutter. Her. That's like more sh flutter shy. You have that back. Uh, meet you? Meet her. You have to meet her. I have to show you. Come outside, Daisy. Fly reverb. Uneasily, Daisy put on her slippers and shuffled to the bedroom door. She couldn't find a candle, but it would take a while. She couldn't find a candle? She could find a candle, but it would take a while. But it would take... Okay, so it's this whole thing. Bing, that's a mean a thing to me. Shuffled to the bedroom door. Face she could well. find a candle but it would take a while. And Lily pulled to the bedroom door. She could find a candle, but it would take a while. And Lily sounded strange. I can always push it out if I need Perhaps to. Perhaps it was urgent. Perhaps it was urgent. Hastening, hastening, hastening. That back. Strange. Perhaps it was urgent. Okay. Hastening. Hastening, hastening. Okay, wrench back. This fucking author, man. Is this it? Yes, it was urgent. Hastening down the stairs, she paused to put on her white cloak. Yikes, there's some fun little peas. Hastening down the stairs, she paused to put on her white cloak, and then unbolted the door. She hesitated... She hesitated before she opened it. Lily? Okay, put that back. She hesitated before she opened it. Lily? Lily? Are you... Are you there? That seems fine. Lily? Are you... Are you there? Are you... Are you there? That's fine. The answer was immediate. That's fine. The answer was a cheat. I'm here, sister. Come out. Hang on. The answer was immediate. Okay, I didn't hear that twice. I'm here, sister. Come outside. I want you to see. Daisy opened the door and stepped outside. Okay. Daisy opened the door and stepped outside. Doesn't really matter the to me. The moon was waning. Doesn't really matter. Daisy opened the door and... The moon was waning and only a... The moon was waning and only a thin sliver shook. Silver sliver. Oh, God. The moon was waning and only a thin silver sliver showed up in the sky. Okay. The moon was waning and only a thin silver sliver showed up in the sky. The... The clearing around the cottage was always dark at night. Not like the city. In the back. The clearing around the cottage was always dark at night. Not like the cities Daisy had read about, where the lights burned so brightly that it was always like daytime. Even at midnight. Okay, stop. Save. <laughs> Alright. Jeff the Killer is unintentionally hilarious with how hard it tries to be cool and edgy. <laughs> to me, it's just gibberish. I'm an author, so I take my writing seriously, but I have read it for fun on stream before, I believe. I was doing on Rebonds or my channel. Uh, but yeah, I read it with Rebond just because we were just making, we were just reading bad creepypasta that night. That's where the that's where the Splendor Man came from. Uh, 
I agree that Rainbow Factory and Cupcakes are not shock quartz much, but in my opinion, Rainbow Factory is a lot better than Cupcakes. It has more of an interesting concept. Mm. The problem with that, there's no motive. She says that she, you know, has a huge bill on her house, but that's not a motive to kill someone. I'm sorry. It's like... It's like the tagline that I gave uh, Reborn. Monsters are not born, they are created. You aren't just born evil. You have to have a motive for becoming evil and why you do what you do. Dash never gives that. That's why in Reborn, I give her a motive. Drugs. <laughs> Here they were. Here they were. No houses for miles around. Just endless forest. Dark. And Stop. Here they were. No houses for miles around. Just endless forest. Dark and foreboding. This was why Daisy liked it inside. He was safe there. Home with no nuance or shadow to it. Okay. Just simple home. Okay. She stood beneath the small porch, eyes wide and white in the darkness, shivering in her silvery cloak. L Lily? Lily? Sister, come this way. Lily's voice called from the garden. Get that back. Lily? Sister, come this way. Okay, that's fine. Lily's voice called from the garden. Lily's voice called from the garden. Sister. Back. Lily's voice called from the garden. Sister, come see. Sister, come see. Uh... Lily? Lily? God fucking... You're scaring me. Lily, you're scaring me. You do not need any of this. Sister, come see. Lily? Lily? You're scaring me. No. Lily, you're scaring me. That's good. A note of bleeding. Lily, you're scaring me. Nope, that's flat. <laughs> Excuse me. Lily, you're scaring me. Daisy, Lily, you're scaring me. What is that? Lily, you're scaring me. Daisy, that might be a problem. Lily, you're scaring me. I don't know what that is at the end right there, but we might have to use a different take just because of that. Whatever, it's not really gonna make a difference. They're all good takes, it's just, yeah. Sister, come see. Okay, bring that back. Lily, you're scaring me. Daisy said, a note of pleading entering her voice. But she stepped away from the cottage and towards the vegetable patch. That is a stupid mistake. I mean, okay, Cupcakes was just literally hostile. Ponified. Literally, it was. Because what did they do in Hostel? They basically dissect humans and torture them to make something. Like, I think it was dog food or something. Something like that. In this, she dissects ponies to make cupcakes. Because wonderful. <laughs> Meat cakes. Ugh. I'm not a fan of Gorefix at all. Uh... Unless it really has like a mild amount of gore, I'm not really interested in gore fix. That's why I don't like something sweet to buy. I don't like cupcakes. I don't like Rainbow Factory. Uh, what's some other ones? Butterflies, okay. Butterflies is a good one. But Fluttershy's freaking motive for killing makes zero sense. I have re listened to it even to understand. It makes no sense. She saw a pony being decomposed by butterflies. Yay! Who cares? Something like that. I can't remember. But it makes zero sense. Sister. Sister, sister. Sister, 
Sister. Came the call again. Okay. Now from in front of her. Okay. I remember I even did that. Came the call again. Now from in front of her. Now from behind. Now from in front of her. Okay. Came the call again. Now from in front of her. Yeah, I stuttered now. right there. Not back. Came the call again. Now from in front of her. Now from behind. And Daisy twisted and turned. And Daisy twisted and turned on the spot. Okay, I remember something. To find her twin. Oh. Lily, stop it. And Daisy twisted and turned. Alright, let's see here. It's about to bring you back to me. Now, from behind. And Daisy twisted and turned on the spot, trying to find her twin. Lily, stop it! Okay. Sister! Sister! The cries grew loud. Excellent. 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 Yeah, here we go again with another word. I can spell. Home oh my god. I'm gonna grab the light. Wanna see that better tomorrow. Right. Excellent. Okay. I. Okay, what's all this? Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in play. And then. And then something stepped forward. What is that? Oh, and then something stepped forward. Exultant. No. And then. And. Okay, I gotta go get my dinner real quick. The cries grew loud. Excellent, excellent. And then, and then something. St Wait, what did I do? Cause I'm gonna grab a bite. Better tomorrow. Uh, okay, where am I? This has gotta be it. Acting pure. Nope. Okay, where's the line I need? What the hell is going on with the phone today? Exultant. Nope. And then. And then, something stepped forward, into the dim light of the fading moon. Wait, what? You've gotta be kidding me. And then, and then, something stepped forward, into the... Okay, then where the f*** is the line? I know I said it. <sighs> okay, I gotta wait for that phone call to end. And then something. No. What the hell is going on with the phone today? Okay, glad I got that before the phone decided to ring. The cries grew loud, exultant. There we go. Okay. The cry. In that back. The cries grew loud, exultant. Okay, glad I got that before the phone decided to ring. Alright. Stop for a minute. Save. As a writer, how powerful should you make them vampire or a monster? Well, it depends on, you know, the limit of their power. Like, are they another type of species? Or are they, you know, like any other character? 
If so, you should. If there are only as, if they're only like any other human being, they should be only as powerful as a human should be. Humans can be powerful through, you know, stuff like intelligence and uh, martial arts. A side story I'm writing, actually, there is a character that is exactly that. It's not martial arts that makes him scary. It's his intelligence. Powerful enough to be serious threat, but not so strong that them being defeated would be unbelievable. If I believe the fit correct... Oh, if I remember cor the fit correctly, Butterfly's cat... Butterflies kept Fluttershy's motive very vague. It was a vague mix of butterflies are pretty and life being born from dead sacrificed ponies is beautiful such me Makes zero sense. Why do you harvest your your friends basically to be eaten from the inside out? Ugh. Okay, glad I got that before the phone just... Okay. Where are we? Exultant, no. And then, and then, something stepped forward into the dim light of the fading moon. Ronald. Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place and fur. And then, and then, something stepped forward into the dim light of the fading moon. Oops. And then, and when she saw it, Daisy's courage filled her. What's this? Okay. Bring that back. And then something stepped forward into the dim light of the fading moon. And then, and when she saw it, Daisy's courage filled her. Bring that back. Light of the fading moon. And when she. Oh shit. I need to go in so I can see what I'm doing. Step up and fight, up and fight. We will fight back tonight. In light of the fading moon. And when she saw it, Daisy's courage filled her. Okay. Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place. Okay, I remember I did this quite a few times. And it was the last take. This is the only other take I did. I swore I did more than that. Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place and burst into a gallop. I swear, they always... Okay. Nope. Just gotta wait for the people to shut up. Can't even that back. Acting purely on instinct, she whirled in place and burst into a gallop. The urge to flee was irresistible. It was hardwired in. For a few moments, she thought she had made it, that it was working. But then something erupted from the ground and twined itself around her ankle. Sharp points biting into her flesh, and she knew that she had been wrong. Uh, Lily. Silly Daisy. Silly Daisy, said Lily in a sing- Bring that back. Silly Daisy, said Lily in a sing-song voice. Really? Okay, remember I had to do that. Again. Said Lily in a sing-song voice. But now, a second voice had joined hers, and two sets of hoof steps were approaching. Okay, so I should probably do the second voice of Lily, then... What does Rolls like sound like? I... Silly Daisy. Oh, it's a double-layered one. Uh, do I do that now? Sure, we'll do that for right now. So I need to go like this. Uh, control C. Need to zoom in. Then I need to make a second track. Tracks, add new mono. Okay, where is her line? Silly Daisy. There it is. All right, fun stuff. 
Okay, so we need to get right on point. So it looks like there's just a little da little dash. Silly, Silly Daisy. Daisy. Ooh, close. Control C, delete. Okay, I need to get the line where it just starts to come together. V. Silly Daisy. Silly Daisy. Okay, it's a little quicker right here. So, where does Daisy begin? Right there. The day, the day, the day. Solo this. Daisy. Daisy. Uh, silly. Okay. Daisy. Daisy. Maybe it's just the... Maybe it's just the pacing that's dropping. Drive, drive, that's setting me off. Lee Daisy. Daisy said Lily in a sing-song voice. But Lee the Daisy. Daisy. Lee. So where the Daisy starts, that's where I need to put the D. It's like right there. So if I go like that, where does that start? It's almost right on point. Okay, maybe not. Uh, so Daisy starts right there. So where are we? That's like dead on. The day, the, the day. Maybe this needs to come back a little bit. What? The day, the day, the day. Ooh. Okay, where does AZ start? Really? Day. Day. Ah, okay, that's why it's throwing me off. I see, I see, I see it. That that's like a like a breath. That's the problem going on here. Okay, so we just need to get that right up to point. There we go. This should be right now. Or close. Daisy. There we go. Okay. I knew it wasn't stupid. Alright. So that's doubled. Let's make sure that the volume levels are okay. Silly Daisy. Silly Daisy. Yeah, that's fine. Said Lily in a sing song voice. But now a second voice had joined hers. And two sets of hoof steps were approaching. Silly Daisy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're already here. Uh, Wait, is that how it goes? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need a script. Let's see. Here. Oh, we're pretty far. We're pretty far. Uh, let's see here. Would you teach you well, my friends? Silly Daisy. Silly little Daisy running, trying to run from us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, I recorded her voice then. Okay, so there's two voices here. Coaching. Silly Daisy. Okay, there's the original line. Okay, what is this? Silly Daisy. Um, okay, that's... Silly little Daisy. Okay, there we go. There's Lily. Silly little Daisy. Silly little lazy Daisy. That was a tongue twister. Silly little lazy Daisy. Trying to run away from us. Okay. Silly little lazy Daisy. Trying to run away from us. Okay, and there's Rose Luck. I think I could have that backwards. 
Okay, so there's a little pot. There's a little thing right here. So where does start to come in? Really? S -s Silly. So that's uh, s right there. So we're just gonna cut that out. It's more like a little sigh. Silly little lazy daisy trying to run away from us double tracking never easy guys <laughs> never easy at all this is hard control c okay so now i gotta get that right on point v okay let's see what we got here we're still in this together nope we're off still control c delete Okay, we're right here when we start. Okay, that's close. Uh, looks like we're off just a little bit. Silly little lazy daisy. Yeah, I am off a little bit. Sil silly. Okay, silly matches. Silly, silly little. Okay. So little starts there. Now I gotta match that here. Okay, so yeah, it is a little more enunciated here. I just don't want to make it sound too not real. Okay, so where does it begin up here? Right here. Or is that silly? Silly li Silly. Okay, l l little starts right here. Oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. Okay, so we've got to either speed it up or something. I don't know. Let's see if I go like this. If it makes any any single difference. We little like we. We little. We little, la we, we little lazy daisy, trying to run away from us. Ooh, God, <laughs> that is creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's basically right on point, right there. Silly little lazy daisy. Okay, so now let's go here. Okay. Go like. Okay. Control C. There is a method to my madness. Just give me a minute. V. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so it's off by just a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so there's the beginning of that one. This looks pretty damn close. Nope, it's a little off still. Yep, we're off just a teensy little bit. Okay, bring that back just a little bit. Trying, trying to, to run, run away, away from us. Trying, trying to run. Trying to. Trying to. Trying to. Trying to. Okay, so the T needs to come back. To run away from us. That's close enough, I believe. I think that's close enough. Whoa, what? Am... Silly little lazy daisy. Trying to run away from us. That's close. Silly little lazy daisy. Trying to run away from us. Okay. Daisy flattened herself to the ground. Her breaths coming to stop, stop, stop. 
Daisy flattened herself to the ground. Her okay, maybe not that big of a pause. Run away from us. Daisy flattened herself to the ground, her breaths coming too rapid and too shallow, trying to pretend that this wasn't happening. Okay. It's okay. It, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm safe at home and I never left the kitchen. I'm baking bread and it's all okay. And soon Lily and Mama will be going to have dinner with me. No. <laughs> I'm baking bread, and it's all okay, and soon Lily and Mama will be home to have dinner with me. I'm safe at home, and I... I'm... I'm safe at home. Turn that back. It, it, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm baking bread, and it's all okay. Okay, there's no sign of any abruption right there. It's okay. It, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm baking... Bring that back. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm baking bread, and it's all okay, and soon Lily and Mama will be home to have dinner with me, and it'll all be like it used to be. Okay. Hey! Two muzzles lowered themselves to either side of her, and two scorching... Okay, bring that back. It used to be. Two muzzles lowered themselves to either side of her, and two scorching hot revs hissed into her ears, speaking in perfect unison. Okay. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Oof. I can already see problems with this. Uh, that one goes a little bit more quicker, so I may have to speed this sample up. Which I've done before. There we go. Okay. Something like that. Uh... You, you should, should never, never run away. Run away or... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so where does ya start? Okay. Stop for a minute. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay. You should. Okay. First of all, that needs to be sped up. So that would be change speed. Uh, affecting both pitch. No, we don't want that. So it's change tempo. Uh. S Nope, that's speeding it down, so I'm going to go up. Let's see if that does the trick. Little closer. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay, maybe I can work with this. You should never run, run away, away from, from your sister. sister. You, you should, should never run, run away from your Okay, where does runaway start on this one? Should never run. Should never. Ru. So ru right there. Uh, and then on this one. So you should never. Run a run a. Okay, so that's. Run away. Run away. I think it needs to come forward just a little bit. I need like a piece of blank space. Wait. You should never run away. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god. You should never run away from your You should never run away Run away from. 
run and away, I think, are too fast. Yep, one is a little more stretched out. Let's see if I stretch it out. It might do something. Uh, we need to change tempo. And slower down. Nope, still not enough. Run no. Run Run oh, hang on. That might do the trick. For run, run away from your sister. sister. For run, run away. F from. For run, run away. For run, run away from your sister. sister. For run, run away from your sister. Okay, which one's hitting the Y almost immediately? For run away from your sister. For run away from. For run away from your sister's daisy. Okay. This is just a part. This is a process of patience to get it absolutely correct. For run away. For run away from your. For run away. Is this the F? From your. From. Your, yep, that's the F. Okay. Now let me look at this one. Where's the F start? Way from your. Way from. Bingo. Okay, so. Starts right here. So we need to pull that back to about right there. Nope, a little bit more back. Let's see if that's close enough. Should be pretty damn close. Away from your sister's daisy. Ooh, almost, almost. For run away from your sister. For run away from your sister's daisy. For run away from your sister's. For run away from your. Okay. Ugh. I think this needs to come back just a tad. Away from your sister's daisy. Okay. Now we've got an issue. Wait. Wait. From. Wait from your. Wait from. Wait from your. Your. So this is the Y. Your. Your. Your sis. Your. Your. So where's the Y start? Here. Your. 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 Okay, so it starts right there after that big bulge. Uh, where does the Y start down here? Yours. 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 Your. Okay, where's the s start? Yours. Yours. Your. S s s Say, code so okay. It's okay, that's the S. Where's the S down here? S. S. It needs to go out more. Let's see if that does the trick. Our sister. Our, si our sister. Our sister's Daisy. Daisy is off. This needs to come forward a little bit. Okay, hang on. Control C. Control V. Yeah, matching these buggers up is a pain in the rear. <laughs> okay. There's there's Daisy. There's Daisy. Almost right on the dot. Alright, um, let's see here. Daisy. One bit off. Daisy. Stop. Okay. It's going to sound a little wonky, but I think we've got it. You should never run away from your sister's Daisy. Boom. Save. <laughs> I don't know how Lost did all that she did in, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Apple Sleep Experiment. That, that one sequence where she's like hallucinating the the Flint Flam brothers. I don't know how she did that. 
Because that involves this. Jesus Christ. You should never run away from your sisters, Daisy. Okay. Sisters, Daisy. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Maybe just do the thing. I don't know. Nah, we got it. Back. With slow, sorrowful steps, Sakura descended to the stairs from her potions room. Oh, it's a posh. I didn't realize that. Okay, grab all this. Control C. Control C. There's Daisy. With slow, sorrowful steps, Sakura descended to the stairs from her potions room. There would be no soup bubbling over the fire. No bright smile from Daisy to greet her. The room would be as dark and miserable as it had been for the past two weeks. Grown dim and dusty. Grown dim and dusty without... Grown dim and dusty without Daisy's love. Grown dim and dusty without Daisy's loving care and Lily's infectious laugh. She had searched high and low for her daughters, but they were but they were not in the village or anywhere in the forest that she knew. First Lily, first Lily, and then First Lily, and then a week later, Daisy vanished too. Lily? Lily she could almost believe would run away from home. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Finish two. Lily she could almost believe would run away from home if she <sighs> found an opportunity that excited her or a stallion she thought she could... If she found an opportunity that excited her or a stallion... If she would run away from home. If she found an opportunity that excited her, or a stallion she thought she could love. But Daisy, Daisy would never, and even Lily would have left a note. No, something else had happened. Something had taken them. And Zakora had seen too Hang many on. horrible warped reflections. No, something else had happened. Something had taken them, and Zakora had seen too many horrible warped reflections of something in her cauldron not to know. <gasps> and Zakora had seen too many horrible. And Zakora. And Zakora had seen too many horrible warped reflections of something in her cauldron not to know. Not to know that the two events must be related. Not to know. That thing with the... And to... Not to know. Okay, I gotta cut that in the right spot. Right there. Okay, right, bring that back. Not to know that the two events Bingo. must be related. That thing with the right... That thing with the writhing roots and the fang-sharp thorns that had taken her daughters. That back. That thing with the writhing roots and the fang sharp thorns that had taken her daughters. <gasps> Jesus Christ. That thing. That thing with the writhing roots and the fang. Oh. I apparently did a retake because why not? That. That thing with the writhing roots and the fang sharp thorns had taken her daughters somehow. If the visions were only clearer, she could only see where they... If only the... If the visions were only clearer, if she could only... Well, if the visions were only clearer, if she could only see where they were. She took the last step and turned the corner into the living room and stopped <sighs> oh, dead. Shit. A candle was burning on the kitchen table giving out a scant circle of the giving out a scant scant 
No, but scant. Giving out a scant, giving out a scant circle of illumination, and two ponies were bathed in its flickering glow. And two ponies were bathed in its flickering glow. I better make sure. Well. Okay, where are we? Giving out a scant circle of the. Okay. And two ponies were bathed. Actually, hang on. A candle was burning on the kitchen table. Oops. Nope. We need that little spot. Boom. I did not just push the hell button, did I? You son of a bitch. If the vid. I swear. Whoever decided to do that while making the keyboard is an idiot. If the visions were only clearer. Keep that back. If the visions were only clearer. If she could only see. Okay, where am I? She took the last step and turned the corner into the. Uh, a candle was burning on the kitchen uh, table, giving out a scant uh, circle of. The, giving out a scant. scant? Giving out a scant. Giving out a scant circle of illumination. Giving out a scant. Okay. I just need to go forward. Because I check, and then we come back to this. Not back. Giving out a scant circle of illumination, and two ponies were bathed in its flickering glow. L Lily? Okay. Zakora stuttered, stunned. Daisy? 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 <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> Neither one. D Daisy? <laughs> Sound like freaking Applejack. D Daisy? D Daisy? That back. D Daisy? Neither one replied, and Zakora stumbled closer to them, her forelegs already extending for a hug. Okay. Down we go. But her children didn't move. I love this little soundtrack going on in the background. Already extending for a hug. But her children didn't move, and Zakora halted before she reached them, eyes flicking anxiously from one to the other. Say something. Say something. She said at last. Mm. Said. Right back. Say something. She said at last. Okay. I gotta do two voices for these, really? <laughs> Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Okay. I got him. <laughs> okay. So now I gotta match these up. But hey, guys. This is what it takes to get to, like, a good level. It's annoying, but hey. It's part of the job. Let's hope that this just plays nice. Someone ripping a guitar in the background. Okay, so I need to get all that space out. Let's see if this works. Hello, Mama. Nope. A little off. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Mama. Okay, it seems like this one's just a little too slow. Bring that back. Hello, Mama. There we go. Hello, Mama. Got it. Hey! We did it. Uh. Let me bring this back just a little more. Okay, save. They really? said, finally. They said, finally. And Zakora flinched. Keep that back. Okay, I need to. Oops. Okay. They, they said, finally. And Zakora flinched. Okay. Twins they might be, but they had never spoken in unison before. Yeah, like the Shining Something. ones was very wrong. 
the core tried to summon a smile. It was a weak and watery effort. Watery? I... I am glad to see you both home and safe and sound, my daughters. My daughters? I am glad to see you both home safe and sound, my daughters. <gasps> okay, we are back. If you ever listen to or... Sen? A NASA launch. I want to re-what that? But basically how I don't know what you're sub trying to get to me. I am glad to see you both home. Her children watched her, eyes flat and blank. Ugh. A few rags of white still hung from Daisy's shoulders. A few rags of white still hung from Daisy's shoulders. A lump rose in Zakor's shop. A few rags of white still hung from Daisy's shoulders. A lump rose in Zakor's throat as she remembered how the two of them had labored over those cloaks together. Mother and daughter working as one. A team. How widely Lily had smiled when they handed hers over. And... And here they were. God fucking crime of... I swear, Chrome, go away. And... And here they were. Home at last. Stop, stop, Safety stop, stop, body, stop. at least. Despite the evils her vision had predicted. It bugged. It's okay, we saved. It normally auto saves anyways. But yeah, I'm not doing that. Nice try. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's a common bug. So we're just going to kill Audacity altogether. Maybe. Did I say to suspend you? I said to end the task. Oh my god. End task! Thank you. Okay, let's try that again. This is why you always, always hit that save button as much as you possibly can. Otherwise, it's a problem. I'll get the chat back up here in just a second. Let's go load the file. No, oh, shut the f up. Okay. Scene rendered. I went to render that, but basically how? I don't understand exactly what you're trying to say to me. It, it, it's still. If you've ever listened to or seen a NASA launch, I went to render that. I'm working with a 13-year-old laptop. Ay -ay -ay -ay. I mean, this one's pretty old. It's six years old. A few rags of white still hung from Daisy's shoulders. Okay. A lump rose in Zakor's throat as she remembered how the two of them had labored over those cloaks together. Okay, Mother we're just gonna skip. Working as one. We're just gonna skip ahead here. A few rags of white, and and here they were. God fucking crime of I swear, Chrome, go away. And 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 here they were, home at last, safe in body at least, despite the evils her visions had predicted. They were acting strange. But she would find past, safe in body at least, despite the evils her visions had predicted. They were acting strange, but she would find the right brew to fix them. But she would find the right brew to fi fuck. But she would find the right brew to heal them.
she would find the right brew to fix them. Okay, no back. But she would find the right brew to heal not back. Brew to heal them. She was a healer. It was what she was good at. Then a third shape appeared. Stop, stop, stop. Not back. Then a third shape appeared. Then a third shape appeared. Detaching it. Not back. Then a third shape appeared. Detaching itself from the shadow in which it hid. Okay. Oh god. It quavered and wobbled for a moment. Back. It quavered and wobbled for a moment. She hid. It quavered and wobbled for a moment. Back. She hid. It quavered and wobbled for a moment. Tendrils writhing from. Tendrils. Tendrils writhing from just out of sight before it coalesced. Back. Tendrils writhing from just out of sight before it coalesced and before it coalesced and stepped forward. Step forward or back. Before it coalesced and stepped forward into the pool of candlelight. A mare, a mare with pale cream, a mare. Oh Jesus. A mare with a pale green coat. Fuck. <laughs> Good. A mare with a pale cream coat and blood red mane woven thick with roses. Jesus. Though roses were not in season, should have bloomed in wood. Should not. Roses were not in season, should not have bloomed in winter at all. Okay. A mare, Sakura realized with a sinking heart, who was shocking similar in appearance to her daughters. Who was shockingly similar in appearance to her daughters. Roses were not. Who was shocking similar in appearance. Who was shockingly similar in appearance to her daughters. Okay. Hello, Mama. Jesus Hello. Christ. Mama. Jesus Christ. Hello, Mama. <laughs> Hello, Mama. That's fine. The stranger hissed in a voice so terrifyingly inequine that Zakor's breath caught in her throat. Okay. Do I. Do I. Do I know you? Uh. Instinctively, she cast a. I guess it doesn't matter. Do I. Do I know you? Instinctively, she cast about for a rhyme. It was the tradition when speaking with a stranger, and some small part of Zakora long. The chatter from the command control to the pilot of the craft. Uh, I don't know. I don't specialize in that kind of crap. For a rhyme. It was the tradition when speaking with a stranger, and some small part of Zakora longed to hide behind the ceremony of it all, to cover her nerves somehow. What the fuck? To cover her nerves somehow. But no rhyme to cover her nerves somehow. To cover her nerves somehow. But no rhyme came to her tongue. And for the first time in a long time, uh, excuse me, she left her couplet unfinished. Couplet, couplet. That's right. <sighs> what is this? She left her coup. She left her couplet unfinished. Okay. Perhaps. Oh shit. Uh. Let's go like right here. Perhaps the stranger said with a smile that begun as playful with a smile that began as playful and widened until it was horrifying. 
the stranger said, with a smile that begun as playful. Okay, put that back. With a smile that began as playful and widened until it was horrifying. Don't I look familiar? Okay. <sighs> She rested a hoof on Lily's shoulder. Oh, okay. She rested a hoof on Lily's shoulder, and to Zakora's horror, her daughter was her daughter was smiling the same smile. Too wide and too smiles. Her daughter was smiling the same smile. Too wide and too full of teeth. Too wide and too full of teeth. Long. Yeah. Too wide and too full of teeth, long and sharp and wicked. Tell her how you found us, Mama. Uh. Said Lily. That is laugh. But the stranger's mouth was or moving Lily. at the same time. Zakora looked from her children to the stranger with growing fear. Who? Who are you? The mare pouted. Don't you know? I thought you might have seen me in one of your little prophecies. Tell her how you found us, Mama. Lily? Said Lily again, her voice flat and emotionless. Emotionless, yeah. Oh, flat and emotionless. Tell her how you found us, Mama. <laughs> Tell her how you found us, Mama. Tell her how you found us, Mama, said Lily again, her voice flat and emotionless. Zakora felt the floorboards under her hooves and tried to draw strength from the familiar surroundings of home. Huh? Lily, what has she done to you? Daisy, has it happened to you too? Okay. You can call me Roselock if a name will help you. Oh, lightly. You can call me Roseluck, if a name will help you. Put that back. You can call me Roseluck, if a name will help you. The stranger said lightly. Lily spoke again, and this time it was more insistent. Tell her how you found us, Mama. It was a clearing. It, it was in a clearing, deep in the trees. Zakora stuttered, looking. Zakora stuttered, looking from Lily to the stranger. Zakora. Shut. Zakora. Zakora stuttered, looking oh. from Lily to the stranger and back. Why did they look so similar? Why were this mare's eyes the same shade of green as daisies? Beneath the giant flowers were two fine. Be beneath the giant flowers were two tiny fillies. Mm. Were two tiny fillies. Giant flowers. In the back. Giant flowers. Lily's voice made something on her tongue. Giant flowers? Said Roselock. Okay, so yeah, she's kind of like, huh, that sounds familiar now, doesn't it? What two tiny fillies? Okay. Giant flowers? Okay, said Roselock, with Lily's voice making a subtle undertone. Her breath coming too fast, Zakora tried to think of an herb, a potion. That's a plosive. That's a plosive. Okay, where was that? Here? Ro Rose Luck took a. Nope. Back just a little more. P, 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 P. Right here? A potion. A potion. A potion. Yep, that's a little sharp. Uh, 
that would be under here. No, it isn't. EQ. <coughs> Come on, Brain. Keep working with me. Her daughter's stolen somehow. Their will subsumed. Are you kidding me Who again? Could have done this to them? No mere pony could wield this sort of power. Oh my god, I swear. Nope. Nice try. Thank you. Ugh, annoying. Ow. Yeah, can we please not do this every five minutes? Are we good? A potion. A potion. Yep, that's been altered. <sighs> Maybe. There we go. Oh, I haven't even done my E7 all day long. A potion. Okay. An herb. A potion. The core tried to think of an herb. A potion. Anything that could undo this. Okay. Her breath coming too fast. Zakora tried to think of an oh! herb. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. Breath coming too fast. Zakora tried to think of an herb. A potion. Anything that could undo this. There we go. Her daughter's. Stolen somehow. That back. Okay, let's try this again. That could undo this. Oh shit. Her daughter's stolen somehow. That could undo this. Her daughter's stolen somehow. Their will subsumed. But what could have done this to them? No mere pony could wield this sort of power. Rose Luck took a step forward. Okay. Three flowers there were. Three. Only two had bloomed. The third was late. It. Fuck. <laughs> it. Fuck. It. Was it? Uh, if you're new around these parts, yeah, I swear like a sailor. It. Was it? Zakora tried to remember. All she could recall clearly about that day was the shock of finding two su was the shock of finding two such tiny foals. Not back. Was the shock of finding two such tiny foals utterly forsaken in the wilderness, abandoned without a parent in sight. The giant flowers had been striking. Striking enough to draw her away from the path and into the clearing. But once she had seen the foals. But once she... But once she had seen the foals, all other thoughts had left her head. It was. It was. That back... Okay, I need to see, I need to save, and I need a drink real quick. Ay, caramba.
God, it is stuff in this fucking room. <laughs> okay. Let's try and finish this. Head. We're getting close to the end. It was. Okay. Said Roselock grimly. It you was. took them. And you left me behind. The words hit Sakura like a blow to the chest. Three folds. Wait, wait, wait. Or like a blow to the chest. Three folds. Triplets? Surely not. She had. She, she had. She had looked everywhere for any trace of any pony that might have been responsible for the little fillies. She would have. Hey, get rid of that. She had, she had looked everywhere for any trace of any pony that might have been responsible for the little field. I can get rid of that. She had, she had looked everywhere for any trace of any pony that might have been responsible for the little fillies. That's good. She would have spotted a third child if there had been one there. If there had been one there. Ow. Uh, I guess that's it. One, two. If there had been one there, but, but how else to explain it? This uncanny similarity between the stranger and her daughters, the horrible possess, the horrible possessiveness in the way Roseluck looked at the others. It's like twisted sisterly love between the stranger and her daughters. The horrible possessiveness in the way Roseluck looked at the others. Okay, what's this? I promise you. Oh, it's a line. In this back. I promise you. I promise you that I did not know. Bring that back. I promise you that I did not know. Not know, said Zakora, her fear forgotten for a moment in the face of her regret. Okay. If I had seen you, I would not have done so. That's good. <clears throat> Roseluck scoffed. <clears throat> Roseluck scoffed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why should they get to grow up here? Warm. <laughs> Why should they get to grow up here, warm and loved, while I was still out there? She jabbed a hoof at the window, at the forest, black and forbidding. Hungry and so lonely without my sisters. She advanced another step and her skin rippled with tiny spikes for a moment, like thorns were about to burst out through her fur. Like thorns were about to burst out through the fur. Yeah, th there were some long freaking lines in this one. Like thorn. Like thorns were about to burst out through the fur. Okay. They weren't yours to take, old woman. They weren't yours to take, old woman. I like the other one better. Not yours to take. Not yours to take. Okay, here we go. I think I like the second one better. They weren't yours to take, old woman. I mean, there's rage in there. Uh, okay, where are we? Like thorns were about to burst out through the fur. Like thorns were about to burst out through the fur. So that implements anger like she's shifting they weren't yours to take old woman i like that one better i like that one better it matches the dur not the duration the uh the demeanor okay <clears throat> okay this will take some toying in other areas take old woman not yours to take. Lily echoed, her voice low and hungry. Okay. 
They are my children. They are my children. Okay. Said Sakura, summoning the stoic face of a shaman. Of the shaman. They are my children. Said Sakura, summoning the stoic face of a shaman. Summoning the stoic face of the shaman. Stop. Delete. Summoning the stoic face of the shaman. Okay, bring that back. Alright, save. Summoning the stoic face of the shaman. Don't show your fear. Okay, Don't that's... show your fear. Second one. I uh... love them still. I... See what I mean? It was kind of going British-y. <laughs> it was going very British-y at some point. Don't show your fear. I love them still. I I loved them then. Whoa. I love them still. I I loved them then. I love them then, and always. Okay, bring that back. I love them then, and always will. No. I love them then, and always will. Yeah. There we go. Much better. Okay, where are we here? That's a breath. Oh, I, I, think, love I think I need to manage the music. So, so we don't get copyrighted. Here. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't ask why my captions are on. <gasps> I mean, the last one, I guess, was just fine. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, here we go. Don't show your fear. Okay, this is the follow-up. Rose looks snarled then. An animal sound. Ripping out of her throat like a curse. Your children. They are. Oopsie doopsie boopsie loopsie dippy dee boops. I love them. Alright, here we go. Okay, I got rid of that. Bring this back. Like a curse. Your children. They are n Your children. They are my family. <sighs> your children. They are my family, not yours. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Way to break the tension, Sparrow. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. All right. Not yours. I found them as babies in the woods. Sakura answered simply. I took them in, as anyone should. All right. But not me. Spat Roselak. I was left to wander on my own, to eat and bloom and wither over and over all by myself. <whistles> Her voice climbed higher and higher. And it actually did. <laughs> It actually did climb higher and higher. Uh, is that a peak? Kinda. But, what do you expect? Over all by myself! Alright. Love you too. Over all by myself! Yep, that definitely needs to be adjusted. So we're just gonna go like this. Negative four. See if that does the trick. And over all by myself. The fire definitely wasn't part of the kindness club. What? <laughs> uh, I think that's a little too much. So let's go again. Amplify negative three. See if that does the trick. And over all by myself. That's better. 
her voice climbed higher and higher. The chorus shook her head slowly and dropped the rhymes. Hi. Hi. Okay, we're gonna back. And higher. The chorus shook her head slowly and dropped the rhymes. Okay. I, I am sorry. I did not know you were there. I would have taken you with me. Even if you had come to us later, I would have taken you in. What was that? Rose looked. I can't tell if that's in it or if it's a monitoring. Even if you had come to us later, I would have taken you in. That's fine. Rose Luck watched her, that strange predatory gleam of back in her eyes. Would you? I wonder. Would you? I wonder. By the time I... I'm not back. Would you? I wonder. By the time I found you, I was already out of my budding stage and into full bloom. I would have horrified you. So I stayed back in the shadows and waited for my sister's petals to open. Okay. Her teeth ground together audibly. Her teeth ground together audibly. Her teeth ground together Oh, Jesus. Audibly. I have waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. I waited. How high did that go? Well, let's see. The peak's right there. Um. I have waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. That needs to be quieted down a little bit. That should be fine. That should I be fine. I have waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. Okay. That's gonna probably have some reverb on or something like that. I waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. Wait. What? Or is this a double take? I have waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. Okay, I have waited. I waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. Uh, I need to actually look at the script to, deter do to determine that. Uh, down we go. Hello, Mama. Tell her how you found us. It was a clearing deep in the trees. It was it. Which it absorbed. Blah, 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 blah. So I did not know. Found those babies in the wood. So not me. Here it is. Her her greet. Her teeth ground together. I waited and waited, but they didn't bloom. That's the line. <clears throat> I have waited and waited but they didn't bloom okay so this is a double take i actually like this one better i waited and waited but they didn't bloom i mean a lot of that's going to be taken out in the post so i think we're fine zakora shrugged her face ra her mind racing as she tried her mind racing as she tried to back Zakora shrugged her mind racing as she tried to assimilate this new information about the nature of the curse for surely it must be a curse I would have tried to heal you be that as it may for my two love for my two loves and care kept the beast within at bay. This is a weird for line. My two for my two. There's a curse. Love and care kept. For my two. Love and care kept the beast within at bay. For my two. 
Love and care kept the beast within at bay. Okay, stop. For my two, love and care kept the beast within at bay. Okay. Kept them trapped. Countered Roselock. And that's high, but what? I think I'll be Lily okay. Lily Valley remembered me. You didn't tame her quite as thoroughly. Kept them trapped. Countered Roselock. But Lily Valley remembered me. You didn't tame her quite as thoroughly, and she found me all by herself. She would be talking kind she of shot the sentimentally here. She shot the beside her, a prideful, almost possessive glance. And I freed her. Okay. Freed her? Freed her? Zakora looked at her daughter, always so wild and so willful. That back. Freed her. Freed her. Okay, that's gonna Zakora have to come back a little bit. Should do a. Zakora looked at her daughter. Actually, hang on. We'll save. Zakora looked at her daughter, always so wild and so willful, now reduced to mirroring the facial expressions of this stranger like a puppet. Okay. Ooh, my throat is... Yeah, voicing Rose Luck was kind of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Freed her! No. Freed her. Freed her. I like this one. It's actually very, very angry. Like, very, you know, it shows she's, like, very prideful. Not prideful, but she's very caring for her sisters. Just in a twisted kind of way. Freed her! Hissed Roselak, and Lily repeated it like a parrot. Like a broken toy. What? Lily repeated it like a parrot. Like a broken toy. Freed her! Freed her! Wait, what the fuck? What's that? Lily? Roselak took a no- Freed her. Roseluck took another step forward, and Lily followed close behind. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what is that? Is that supposed to be Lily? I'm confused. Ah, uh, they bloom. Kept him trapped. Freed her, freed her, like a broken toy. Oh, it is Lily. Duh. It says it's Lily. Freed her. Roseluck took another step forward, and Lily followed close behind. Now, we have come to finish the cycle. Wait. Start it, Mama. Oh, it is Roseluck. Lily followed close behind. I don't know who's speaking here. Now, we have cumished. Fuck. Cumished? Now? <laughs> See, my brain thinks ahead. Now, we have come to finish the cycle. It's time for us to bloom again. And why not finish what you started, Mama? Why not help us grow? Zakora backed up again and found herself... Oh my god, I just realized something that I completely missed. Oh my god. Wow. That's pretty dark. <whistles> this just got grim dark. Zakora backed up again and found herself pressed against the wall. There was nowhere left to go. She looked at her daughters, the fillies she had raised and shared her life with for the past two decades, and a tear slid over her wrinkled cheek. Lily was pressed up so close. Lily was pressed up close behind Rus. Fuck. Lily was pre Lily was pressed up close beside Roselock, and Daisy si and Daisy still sat at the table in her usual seat. The one. Bring that back. And Daisy still sat at the table in her usual seat. 
the one where she had sat so many times to bake and clean and sew for them. All the quiet little touches of domestic domesticity domestic domesticity all the quiet little touches of domestic domesticity domestic all the quiet little touches of domesticity she had found she had found such joy in and then daisy looked up and met so ah, bring that down. she had found such joy in and then daisy looked up and met Zakora's eyes for the first time since she had walked into the room. And Zakora thought that maybe, maybe, and Zakora thought that maybe, maybe one of her daughters was not beyond. And Zakora thought that maybe, maybe one of her daughters was not beyond saving. It's funny, said Daisy. And she sounded so much like her old, quiet self that tears sprang into Zakora's eyes. I was always so happy. I thought I was a pony. I believed all of it. Daisy White. Zakora whispered, seeking and failing to find comfort in the familiar nickname. You are a pony. You are my daughter. Don't give up on yourself and give in to the slaughter. God damn, that was actually a really good like performance a right there. British and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rose it was going kind of British. Rose Luck's hoofs slammed down on the floorboards. Her face, her face was twisted in an ugly snarl. Daisy f down on the floorboards. Her face was twisted in an ugly snarl. Okay. Daisy Flower wishes you will listen to me. Daisy Flower wishes you. In the back. Daisy Flower wishes you will listen to me. Okay. Something rippled from her hoof, some warping of the wood, and Daisy sat bolt upright in her chair. Okay. I... Whatever Daisy had been about to say trailed off, and slowly her flat expression contorted into that same snarl. You are a pony. You are a pony. Zakora repeated desperately, knowing... Yeah, that's a lot more desperately. Zakora repeated desperately, knowing as she did so that it was already too late, that Daisy was already gone. We are not ponies, said Roseluck, and the two mares on either side of her echoed the words just a fraction of a second too slow. Oh god. Ponies. Oh, I gotta do both voice here. Ponies. 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 At least it's one word. The core at, <sighs> at least it's only one word. At least it's only one word. Ponies. Ponies. Huh? Yeah, I'm guessing that's what they want. Ponies. Ponies. Oh, it's two. Okay, let's see here. So I gotta take this sample, go like this, we'll see, and get it right on point. Ponies. Oh, oh duh. There's open space here. So I have to get. It looks off anyway. Back. Ponies. 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 Okay, hang on. Lots of double tracking here. 
ponies. Close enough. What's this? Don't. Pleaded Zakora. Let me help them. L Wait, what was that? Let me help them. L let me help them. Let. Okay. Um. Let's see, what's this? L L let me help them. Let me help you. Let me help you. Hang the back. Let me help you. Help them. Let me help you. We are the children. God damn it. We are the children of the Everfree. Oh, that's a creepy title. We are the children of the Everfree. Okay. Whispered Roseluck through three melves instead of one. Yeah, I'm just gonna add the monkey effect we here. Are the flower ponies, and it's time for us to bloom. Okay. And then all three of those mouths broke into smiles, as delighted as foals beneath eyes that were flat and dead. And those smiles widened and widened until they were nothing but gashes full of teeth. And then their skulls split, and their skin peeled back, and fruits and vines and thorns and teeth sharp as knives. Hey, <gasps> Grumba! And then their skulls split, their skin peeled back, and that back, but gashes full of teeth. And then their skulls split, their skin peeled back, roots and vines and thorns, their skin peeled back. Roots and vines and thorns and teeth sharp and teeth sharp as th and teeth sharp and teeth sharp as th and teeth sharp as roots and vines and thorns and teeth sharp as knives rushed out and all Zakora could do was scream and scream and scream. And when the last scream was finally silenced. Jesus Christ. And scream. And when the last scream was finally silenced, the three things that had once been the the three things that had once worn the skin of ponies were smiling the back. The three things that had once worn the skin of ponies were smiling still and their roots stretched deep into the blood-soaked ground, growing fat and rich on all that beautiful, delicious, coppery red. Oh my god! And deep within the forest, where no pony dares to- God damn it. And deep within the forest, where no pony dares to go. And deep within the forest, where no pony dares to go. Adventurers will find a home, a little cottage with garden below, and through the broke, and through the broken roof, three, and through the broken roof, three great, and through the broken roof, three great pink flowers, grow. Three great, three great pink flowers grow. Three great through the broken roof. Three great pink <sighs> through the broken roof. Three great three great pink flowers grow. Fuck that took forever. Okay. All right, finally, we're done. At least with step number one, that is. Save. All right, well, I export as MP3. Okay. 
full claim. I'm debating whether or not I want to do the EQ now. Because the EQ is kind of a... It can be tedious if it wants to be. I'd rather do it when my head is, like, not so drained of energy. Like I'm actually energized enough to be paying attention. So I think I'm going to export this, upload it to my Google Drive, and call it a day. But hey, at least I got something for this month. Well, not for this month, but next month. At least I finally found something for you guys. It may have taken a little while, but we got it. Okay. Alright. Ship. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I need some happy music.
<sighs> that ending right there. That ending right there. But I think I can hear how it's played. Kinda, sorta. Alright. How are we sitting here? We done? That was quick. Uh, okay. <sighs> Maybe. Google Drive. But yeah, it's a lot of work. It's just a matter of patience and determination and not doing it half-assed. Hopefully this isn't too big of a file. Shouldn't be. This one right here. And we're not even close to done yet. No. We're not even close. That's just the first stage. Still gotta EQ it. I still gotta... Sort it a little bit. Add all the sound effects and shit. Yep, all that crap's still gotta be done. But I'm not doing it today. No. Not happening. Actually, let me see if I can't pick that. Now that I'm done, I think I'm gonna play around for a minute. Because, I don't know why, but my freaking phone doesn't have a headphone jack. Which is very, very stupid, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I'm not in drop C anymore. Oh, never mind. I don't have to be in dropsy. So, chords. That's what it sounds like to me. But then again, I hear a pause. It could be that. No, something like that. <sighs> Jesus. What is EQ? How do I explain that? EQ is essentially making your audio sound good. <clears throat> uh, literally. It's like giving your audio a tone. So you're taking out like the high peaks and all the nasty stuff in your audio that you don't want in there and you're cleaning it to make it sound nice and clear. Basically. Wait, what is that? 
Something like that. It's the palm meter I haven't gone down quite yet. Yep, I think that's it. I think that's what I'm missing there. So it goes rather than uh, and they'll both sound awesome. But I never ever get to play with this. Elemental, elemental. How long have I been going for? Uh, wow, three hours. That's not that bad. Considering how long it can take sometimes. And that's a little part. I've just got to get that palm meeting down, which is alternative. Ah. Okay, it's that little... Is he going, uh... Ben? 
like that. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, what is that? Maybe like that? Okay, then the third chord. Whoops. Wait, then what is that? Oh, so that's in there. So is that something that he uses? Always get stuck on this crap. Oh, I'm just fucking up. So that's gotta be it. I'm just not playing it right enough chords. Ah, uh, so that makes sense. That's how he gets that so quick. What's that little trick he's doing in the background? There's a little riff in the background. to hear in the mix.
I don't know. I haven't really attempted to solo just yet. Okay, so that's not that hard. I can't, I don't know the solo, but I know that one part is right. Oh my god, can I play? It's something like that. I'll probably, I'll probably improvise something. But yeah. So we're... Yep. But for those who are wondering how to play this song, or how I'm playing it anyway, drop D. Uh, I don't know my chords very well, but I think that's a D. Yep. Uh, that is a... I think a B. 
Uh, that is a... I think an E. And then a C. I believe that's a C anyway. In fact, here, just let me put my camera down. Oops, wrong way. There we go, now we can see it there. So, that, 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 and that. Then there's, uh, when you get down to that, uh, then there's this chord added, which is on the 8 and 10. And the, the palm meeting pattern goes, uh, the same as the chorus, I believe. Oh, and then there's this one, of course, uh, which is the four to the s seven. So it's a kind of an odd looking chord. It's not that hard of a slide, though. So. Then that little uh, octave goes, uh, geez, eight and ten. Quick slide into uh, twelve and uh, fourteen. Then uh, twelve and ten, and then five seven and three five. So it goes. Nope. Like that. So not three, five, and five, seven. It's actually uh, nine and seven and five and seven. There we go. I just wanted to listen to the song a little closer because I was having trouble deciphering the chords, but I think I could pick it up pretty much from here. The solo is a bit of a challenge. So that's going to do it for the stream. I think this is what I'm going to get to after this. But, yeah, just a random little ending right there, but whatever. I needed something to, you know, to relap from. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later, and happy wars until next time.